Oh, you're, you're still here? Huh. Okay, well, I guess um, we could do another episode. Hi, uh, I'm Jason. This is uh, Happy Jacks RPG, and uh, you are watching The Castoffs, which is an actual play, because this is an actual play network, and we do a whole lot of that stuff here. Uh, if you go to happyjacks.org slash shows, you can see that, or slash castoffs to see our stuff in particular. We've got the Twitch VODs, if you want to catch up on the chat. We've got a YouTube playlist. We've got a podcast stream. Everything. Anything and everything. A little um, view slash listener could want. That was a very smooth transition, and we're all proud of what I did. Uh <laughs> So let's go around and say uh, who we are and our character and the hairstyle they regret the most from their youth. Hi, everybody. I'm Joe, on that note. Um, <laughs> I play Wall in this game, and I am a fighter, paladin, uh, king-in-waiting, I guess. Oops, all paladin. Uh, all, oops, paladin. Um, wow, hairstyle. I... I can't recall having hair. I, I This has been my personality for so long now, just shaving my head all the time, that I can't remember what it's like having hair. <laughs> so, I guess, no regrets. <laughs> <laughs> no regrets. Wait, are we saying our personal hairstyle or no, no, characters? Character, characters. Again, I'm sure Wolves never I can't had hair. I can no longer relate <laughs> to hair anymore. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Oh, our care. Okay, I was because I had a great. I story also, there, but... I also thought you were. Oh yeah, about as the people who people. don't have typical hairstyles, your story should be very interesting. Hi, I'm Courtney. I play Third of Bandris, also known as Thirdo. Thirdo, 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 son of a mafioso who just wants to be a bard. And I think his most regrettable hairstyle was. I mean, we were all around in the '90s. Remember, guys had the hairstyle that was like parted dead in the middle and just like came down like right here. This guy. Yeah. Yes, so I remember. That was very stylish mm. in 1993, and I'm sure that. to third at some point it was also very stylish. But he has moved on since then. I love it. Uh, Lucky let her cousin convince her that it'd be really cool and camouflagey to dye. Not just the hair on their heads, but all the body part no. green. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Luckily, because it blends in with the foliage. Mm -hmm. well, sorry, foliage. <laughs> so, luckily, it didn't last that long. But also, uh, the taunting has lasted years, decades, eternities. <laughs> it's it a slightly related real world story. <laughs> My partner likes to tell the story of how. She did not give her little sister bangs. She just handed her the donkey-themed safety scissors. I just gave her the donkey scissors. I didn't cut her hair. There you go. That's how, that's how sisters work. Mm, yeah. It's true. Um, hey, I'm Nick, and I play Sal. The thing is, Sal is uh, an eight-foot animated masthead with, uh, made out of wood. So I don't know that Sal has had different hairstyles. Uh, in, in, in such a well, thing. Did they experiment at all when they were, well, like, you you experimented with clothes? Like, did you experiment with the yeah. hairstyles to go with different Like, outfits? when Sal was in the character designer and, like, flipping through <laughs> hair one, hair two, <laughs> hair three, hair four. Um, I think the biggest difference is Sal sometimes wears their hair up and sometimes wears their mm -hmm. hair down. Okay. I just pictured Sal with, like, long, flowy yeah, wood hair. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he didn't make... Is the hat thing was that disguise or just a, what was the hat that we got from disguise hat? Is, is it, it yeah I disguise mean, hat wigs? I'm just saying hat. Mm. Put it on you, see what happens. <laughs> yes, then then in that case, one of the, one of the looks that Sal tried out was the golden ringlets. Mm. <laughs> so like the Shirley Temple golden ringlets mm -hmm. coming down. I've caught up that you were saying disguise hat, mm -hmm. but I was like, what guy's hat? <laughs> this that guy's guy. hat. What is uh, happening? Uh, this is sorry. my game, and I don't know whose hat this is. It was Mr. Fizzlecrank's. Oh, Mr. Fizzlecrank's hat, yes. That makes sense. Bumble uh, Switch Fizzlecrank. Bumble Switch Fizzlecrank, um, <laughs> which if you remember it the other way around... You're um, wrong. <laughs> that's weird. Cause I, just because I said it the wrong way around, I don't know why you would remember it that way. Um, Bernstein, Bernstein. Yeah, right? Um, okay, so... Uh, last time, 
quite a bit unfolded. We had uh, a revelation in the swamp that uh, Wall is descended from royalty and in fact next in line for a defunct throne, but a throne that could perhaps be recovered. Uh, that all, was also discovered that uh, there are many in the, the bone giant community who uh, are repulsed by what their ancestors did and don't support it and would like to uh, stand up against that. And in fact, have considered themselves like a little community of resistors and have done things to sort of slow things or just be in the way the amount that they could. Um, and uh, to, you know, what extent, we don't know entirely, but we do know that Wall was able to recruit two of them uh, in the, the aftermath of the, the fight that went much poor, more poorly than those bone giants thought it would go. Um, Wall didn't kill those people, those bone giants. <laughs> they kept running into my fists and elbows. No, no, no. I mean all the ones I that mean, were on the ground your, that, that your, new, your new followers were yeah. like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. stabbing. That's true. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the one gal who was, because the cook wasn't on his feet yet, but the gal... Mm -hmm. Uh, the soldier was, uh, just putting an end yeah. to, uh, most of a platoon. Uh, just poke him. It doesn't take much. Uh, I mean, two inches of blade. Audrey but... feels like you could learn some things. Shut up, Audrey. <laughs> or, yes, Audrey. I keep saying Aubrey. Um, I think because the knife would be voiced by Aubrey Plaza, um, mm. If, uh, friend of the show, Aubrey Plaza. Thank Famous you, by the way, yeah. for all of your support. Yeah. Yes. Um, feel free to tweet at her. I don't know if she's still on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> Does Twitter still exist? Technically. By the time you listen to this. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. It's, it's yeah. Schrodinger's social media. Um, okay, so. We also discovered that there was a great song a song that had been passed down through generations. And it was a song about that battle, about the people who rose up against the Bone Giants, the people who stood for the natural order of the, the circle of life and death. And uh, something that it, it was, you know, we, we don't want to portray the Bone Giants as this monolithic one idea group of people, um, but they were, th there was, that nation was instrumental in uh, uh, creating a, a, a system of necromancy that uh, now is spreading out into the world, uh, apparently quite aggressively in the town of Spire, which was by Creek Town, where we started this whole adventure. And the, um, there, uh, version of necromancy is to keep people from ever dying. And uh, that is considered anathema to uh, the rest of the people in this world, or at least the people of the consulate, uh, of which uh, Lucky and Wall are direct representatives. And uh, Third and Sal have been sort of dragged along with to some extent. But um, so last week we got a little peek into that, if, you, if you're interested. Uh, episode 11, a little flashback episode. But with these revelations, the, the song that was lost, that was wiped from it, the whole world's memory, came back with a force. And it hit like ripples on a pond from the swampland, and it spread out across, and this memory returned to people. Uh, we see uh, Rooney, the bartender at the Drunken Anchor in Creek Town, humming a familiar tune to herself. Now, it's worth noting that the tune will change from place to place, culture to culture, instrument to instrument. But there are there are some common words that are associated with it, and and the uh, we see Rooney humming to herself. Mm. We see um, one of the mayors, Dawson. 
feverishly writing down what he could remember of the lyrics. Important question. How does it sound on a hurdy-gurdy? Well, ideal. I mean, that's, it was written for hurdy-gurdy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it, it, the, the reason why it's a little different everywhere is like hurdy-gurdy is a unique instrument yeah. and it's, you know. We all sound different. It's yeah. Different. When you're trying to transpose for ukulele, it's just, it's a whole other, a you know. Yeah. Um, the uh, the union leaders who are digging up spire or digging up uh, sailstone in in and around spire uh, have started uh, the the you know the work songs like part of this is one of the work songs that they used to enjoy and uh, it has flooded back to the union leaders and the workers and and everybody and you know we we see this uh, almost more feel than anything the 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 sound of all these workers in the mine like that that echoing reverberation of the the sailstone mines and uh that the effect that that creates we see um Tarina in the galley chopping something and the uh mm. rhythm of her knife just getting through whatever it is she's preparing um we see uh Danny in the hold of the ship with a, an array of little choral arrangements that he's been working on. When the song is released, his head snaps up and he's his head tilts almost like a puppy, just listening. And we see back in Port Fiend, Mrs. Glitterhorn was visiting uh, Mr. Fizzlecrank's shop of curios and interesting devices uh and the two of them lock eyes when they hear it uh, even footman green back at the palace the queen's own footman is tapping his foot and just his forehead is scrunched and he's trying to remember as this is flooding over the the tune and the words and um some of what they remember amounts to this they will not force us they will not they will stop degrading us they will not control us we will be victorious standing up to mind control let the revolution start its role. If you trust the consul's eye, you should never fear to die. And as the good ship Salamander approaches Creek Town, before you're even near it, you could just see it coming over the horizon. It was a, day, a day's sail away from the part of the swamp where the old kingdom was. Um, so it's just up the coast mm. from Spire. Mm -hmm. um, this is actually, Spire is probably remnants of that kingdom who, you know, had to flee. This is a, a nearby village at the time mm. and it was probably, a, a, you know, then somebody discovered Sailstone and they thought, oh, okay, well, we can, we can make a go at this. But as the salamander, the ship, uh, comes into view of Creek Town. Um, it is a little confusing at first. I think it's getting into like mid morning at this point. Uh, you know, everyone had a moment to rest back when you got back to the ship. We were getting ready to set sail and we had a lot to do and everyone was ready to go. But it had been a long day and there were a lot of injuries and we were going through, uh, you know, we spent some time to go through Doc's old potions to make sure everybody was able to recover some. Um, so make sure that you've recovered at least two damage. Uh, if you want to recover more than that, we should probably roll something. Um, also, everybody take five AP. Yay. Um, and that can go, there's no maximum AP, so don't worry about trying to figure that out. Yeah, I think we're all really low. I think so too. Right too. Um, grab me a pencil. But it, um, when you first 
have to see Creek Town come into view, it's confusing. It's like, are there like a million sharks in the water? Like what there's there's all these things in the water, and you realize they're not little things in the water. They're they're little mid-sized ships, they're catamarans, they're sailboats. Um of uh, the people of Creek Town are like jumping into any little thing they have to greet the salamander as the ship approaches. And you can hear them singing this song as you come across the waves. And uh, this is the scene that you all are approaching. And you all know the song too. This is not a mystery mm -hmm. for you. You know that you were forced to forget it. It was wiped from your memory somehow. We don't know how, or we probably have a good sense of why. Um, it was the rallying cry that put an end to the, the necromantic cult in the first place. And I think they rightly thought getting rid of that would give them a leg up in trying to reestablish a foothold and establish uh, mortal immortality as opposed to the sense of like carrying on after you die. Um, so what do you do? There just looks at it like, huh, that's interesting. I recall we left on good terms, right? No, I, I recall. No, we've, we've I recall in the middle of the night. Yes, I recall being thrown over your shoulder and carried off in the middle of the night. Because we um, didn't do anything to the town. That was that was no, some gang that was chasing us. Specifically, third. Him. I would anyway, be polite. <laughs> well, it's really interesting. Yeah, yeah, don't you think? To be truthful. Yes. That the last time we were here, you were attacked. No, I meant about the song. It's interesting that they all know the song, same way we all know the song. It must have been a very powerful magic spell. That yeah. I mean, and I look specifically to you, third. What are you looking at me like that for? Like you, out of all of us, know the most about magic and, and uh, practitioners, and also that. I have not forgotten that we need to find someone who knows even more about magic than you do mm. for... So it's multiple reasons. We need to search out. Yeah. Um, third, are you kind of pondering the the nature of the song or how it was hidden or like what what is on Third's well, mind when you're, he's asking? Well, you're this? mentioning it, um, he's thinking about like, does he know of any connections of music and magic or what type of magic might have concealed a song he thinks if it's something that big that everyone in the world know like it has to be something very ancient and very powerful mm -hmm. so probably beyond his scope of understanding or ability to even potentially harness um well as a reminder something. all yes. of the magic that you've been exposed to mm -hmm. i'll say i think exposed is the right, right word okay um from Open the fae uh, -huh. uh has been the name of um song ish mm -hmm. right okay. has, has been about sounds or tunes or um rhythms or things like that mm -hmm. um you know mrs glitterhorn's true name mm -hmm. which you could call at any time and uh have her do your bidding uh is uh and that wouldn't even really be mind control she would be delighted yeah. <laughs> to assist you, you, you and Elder Fay yourself, mm -hmm. um, in her mind. That's yeah. <laughs> listener. If you, um, third is not actually an Elder Fay, but has <laughs> tricked hilarious a, misunderstanding. Tricked a lesser Fay into mm -hmm. believing that he is. Um, Would you say that third put their thumb on the scales? Yes. Like, don't you dare! Don't you make that fun? Like, don't you dare! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so given Why? given this knowledge that he can now tap into, uh, what would he what would he glean? Um, roll uh, with advantage, please. Okay. Three and nine. So okay. nine. Okay, nine. Nine's better. Um, <laughs> Not great, but look, there's a lot in there. Yeah. Sorting out this one. Thing. Yeah, I think um, the the difficult choice aspect of this mm -hmm. is interesting. Um, I think it's pretty, it should be clear to third that 
to hide a song like this, you, you would need sort of a counter charm. And that's something Third recently learned how to do, okay. right? That, yes. that like counter spell, counter charm type of magic. Mm -hmm. And it would have to be a song of, you know, equal potence somehow. Mm -hmm. um, but it would almost certainly have to be commissioned. Mm -hmm. And the only source of any kind of song like that that Third is aware of would mm -hmm. be in the Fae. Okay. And you would, uh, the difficult choice part here is to get any more, you will almost certainly need to interview or ask a Fae. Mm -hmm. Um, who would know? So you have contact with a couple. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Glitterhorn is one. Mm -hmm. Green is another mm -hmm. who was somewhat more scary. He, just, than, he was so interesting. And also probably knows more than Mrs. Mm -hmm. Glitterhorn. Uh, or you could just sort of uh, throw your hat into a mushroom ring and see who appears. <laughs> Oh, so you're telling me to summon a fae right now, huh? Uh, um, well, maybe mean, not right this second. <laughs> your, your, uh, you know, your actions Look, are your own. It, I don't, I don't think he really wants to call a fae. I'll be no, like, who, it's, nobody wants to call a fae. No. You call a fae because you have to. Yes, and he doesn't have to. Like, if it becomes like a super important dire thing that we have to figure out, then he'll do it. But I think he will at least convey that. Yeah, it was probably some kind of equally powerful counter song to the song that was written um which means someone with a lot of power made it happen possibly the fae i mean they have that kind of power but there are you know other magics in this world it could potentially be i mean of course if i were to call green again uh, all right you did see him uh the the fae just that made because, me just because I didn't see him doesn't mean I don't believe that you that he was there. Um, Thank you for saying so. I need you to roll a die. Please. Oh my like goodness, two. Oh mm. no. Was it over the d twenty or did you want to? Uh, well, no, no, no. When you when you say you this name, when you say Green's name uh -huh. out loud, mm. it echoes, but it like echoes in your uh -huh. skull, mm. and you can feel the like little bones in your oh. ears vibrating and i'm gonna have you take two harm oh uh as like your ears and nose start bleeding um but you're also pretty sure you could summon him like all of this is because it's it's sort of like uh you know that like you've done archery right mm -hmm. uh if you pull the bow without an arrow and mm -hmm. let it you know like dry mm -hmm. fire it that's real bad for the bow. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what just happened. Mm -hmm. It was like, you're supposed to say his name three times into a mirror. Oh, and, yeah. <laughs> and then he comes and murders. Right, but you, yeah. you dry fired it and it, it's like, where does all this energy go? Mm -hmm. Oh, into your ear bones. Ouch, ouch. Yeah, so as you're yeah, having this conversation, yeah. like blood, like anime spurts out of his nose. Uh, <laughs> and... I'm trying to look up someone's skirt right now. Oh. <laughs> Oh no! His, I his said crush his looked name. at him. Uh, Wall ready his, his, his weapons. Uh, enemy mages. <laughs> no. Oh no! I, I think it was just me tapping into the babe magic. Um, you. Why Hi. in the hells would you do that? Uh, I didn't mean to. Oh, thank you, Jeff. Oh. oh god. Okay, that that was. I won't be saying that name again. Um. What name? Don't the, be an the, asshole. The color, <laughs> the burning color. Oh, fine. Yeah, any other word for the word green is okay. Cool. Um, I'm just waiting. Now all y'all going to try to make me say the word green. Aren't yeah. You? Um, That's the challenge. Well, How many times sure, can I say it in one episode? I'm sure it's a concept, not just the color. Right. And like yes, if I ask yeah. you, oh, what color is this blouse? Right. Um, and green isn't and even his true name, right? You right, don't have power right, over no. him. But he has given you basically permission to call him. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think three times into the mirror sounds good, yeah, right? Like he's yeah. not the candy man, but like still, it's just, yeah. whatever. That's just a good superstition. Yeah, Beetlejuice rules. Yes. Um, so, I mean, I, I could try to ask him if we think that this is an important thing to know. But now that the song is freed again, I mean, it I feels like necessary. it feels like. While we know that 
You have contacts on the other side. I also know that you very much don't want to call on them, and it seems like every time you do interact with them, things happen in this vein yeah. or in this vein, and I kind of point to your <laughs> to your um, belt, and maybe we should see if there are other avenues first. In um in the the you know minutes that you've been proceeding and these other sh ships well boats really little boats are like coming out to greet you oh a little bit of boats yeah <laughs> <laughs> Look at little boaties um you can hear all manner of shouts i mean there's probably like a hundred people on the water in front of you um and you could hear it's a salamander salamander it's a salamander and you hear from another group, like, third up, third up, third up. Like, Wait, how do they know well, that? Yeah, how do they right? know that? Yeah, how do how they How do they get all that? the way to Pretty Town? That's wild. That is um, And you also hear, the wall. And then from another side, stands. The wall. Stands. And um, nobody yells anything about Lucky. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky would be like... Half up with a cult by. <laughs> yeah. So those are the wall stands stands? Yes. Mm. Mm. The wall stands. Yeah. Stands. Yeah. That's what I said. Okay. Yeah. Um, but is there one named Stan? That's up to you. They're your NPCs. My NPCs don't have names. <laughs> uh, it's Stan. Stan Fizzlecrick. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. Sal is kind of confused about all of this, but sort of hesitantly raises their hand yeah. and, and starts to wave. Like that, that section of boats that was like in awe that the Salamander, the ship that Salamander was here, they lose their minds. But a bunch of the other boats are like, yeah, we're yelling about something. Um, they're just very enthusiastic that you're here. Uh, I look back at my shipmates and say, uh, Wall is uh, draping fabric over his face and kind of trying to read a sh shemag. Is that what it's called? The, uh, yeah. A wrapping? Yeah. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, yeah. but I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrapping up his face. Yeah. Why are you hiding your face? They all know who you are. That's the point. They shouldn't. Well, you're a bit late for that. I don't like this. This is very strange. Oh, if the cult this is here... Like, a, like, massive trap. Like, everything about this screams trap. You, th you Do you think? <laughs> if... Sal, we have done everything that we can to make sure that people don't really know who you are don't remember you and definitely don't tell Rise where you are. No, I'm, I'm very confused by it as well, but if this were some sort of a trap, this is an awful lot of people to come along with it. We have another problem. If the cult was here, they were operating in secret. Surely they know now they are opposed. Well, at least they know we're here. They don't necessarily know that they're opposed. Listen to the song. I mean, they, they knew they were opposed the moment the song came out. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's, yeah, that's it's fair to just to take that as a given is they they would have heard the song come back too. Um, so, but this, it, I'm not saying that every single one of these people is part of like is a the knowing part of the trap or the cult or rise. I'm saying that whatever set this in motion feels like a trap. Does that make sense? When you put it that way, yes. Say so we proceed mm -hmm. with caution. I disagree. I, I I think this commotion is because you released the song. I mean, we all heard it. But how they would they know it. that the rest of us were responsible? How would they know that Wall was responsible for that matter? I don't know. Are there memories? That's a good question. Do we receive any kind of memories with this song or information, knowing that it's Wall? Like um, Any memories that were suppressed were just memories that would have been around learning the song in the first place. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, kid era, when, you know, you heard the song for the first time, that kind of stuff was... Right. A like, ring around the rosy sort of thing. Yeah. But it wasn't, um, you, you didn't have any, like, 
the blocks of your actual like real important memories blocked out because of the song. I mean, and how do they know your nom de guerre? Well, I mean, they were chanting it pretty loud back in Port Fien, so it's possible it just got on the ship somewhere. Yeah. And you all made two detours on the way here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, thirds, especially with the uh, moniker that you were using at the last call. Mm -hmm. That makes perfect sense to me, actually. Yeah. It's the rest of it that seems... Fishy? Highly suspicious. Well, it's a good thing you got that hat. <laughs> It'll be difficult to move around unseen at this point. Hmm. I wonder if we could use the mirror to make the rest of us look a bit different. Uh, more magic. Yes, more magic. I mean, it could make you invisible for a while. Again. That that taps me quite harshly, but it's an option. At this point, they're all seeing the ship coming. They all know that we're coming. So if we don't get off the ship, it would look very strange. I, on the other hand, can go where I want. Great. It is an advantage. <laughs> You're good at sneaking. Also. Did we leave Mage Harper at Port Fiend? No, I don't think so. Unless Mage Harper wanted to get off at point, I don't know what I don't think so. Been doing. He's just been hanging out with Danny. Yeah. yeah. Does it help you to have him here? If not, he can be left at point. Not really. I mean, it, neither. I just wasn't Ma sure. If... Mage Harper's been working on my tattoo slash Oh, carbine. that's right. That's right. Okay. So he's he's been in his books and... Uh... And, like, consulting with, yeah. with uh, Sal about... Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's, thank you. For, You're welcome. I didn't need a little backfill on that. <laughs> I'd be like, mm -hmm. wait a minute. <laughs> I just made too many NPCs on the boat. <laughs> I uh, I lean out to the closest to to the closest boat and call out, uh, "Thank thank you for the warm welcome. How did you know we were coming?" Uh, let's see. How do they respond? So first of all. They're like lose their minds. So you're like talking to them. Uh, so figure, you know, we might be able to use this weird stardom to, yeah. <laughs> to get some information. Yeah. Walsh trying to cover up his tattoos just with his clothing and trying to hide. Um, so like 15 people are all start talking at once from about 100 yards away. Um, so everyone's trying to tell you something. <laughs> I, I I wave it all down and I say, you in the red striped shirt and the plumed hat. Awesome. David. Thank you. <laughs> Bob Fizzlecrank. <laughs> Perhaps you know my uncle. Very prolific family. <laughs> um, all right. So in the red striped shirt with the plumed hat, um, so, uh, clears his throat and... <laughs> Stands up a little taller, and the others are like, don't, "Don't worry, don't be shy." He's like, the plumed hat was like his big statement, and he was not ready to be the center of attention. Um, now you asked, it, like, how did we? How did you know we were coming? How did you know we were coming? Yeah. Okay. Um, he says, uh, "We we didn't know you were coming. We saw your ship. We saw your sails. Sails." I mean, we have sails. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like literally. Like. We've always had and, sails and a flag. You do have right. a flag. Yeah. That means you get to have a country. Right. From the rules, you just made well, a country. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we did just establish there's a new country. So, for young men. As one citizen. Sure. Mm -hmm. And the navy, though. So that's mm -hmm. impressive. So it's the YMCA. <laughs> Um, what, why have you all gathered here to, to this, this is not the sort of welcome we normally get. Uh, this <laughs> man is baffled by the, like, why did you come out here? It's just like, he's, you could hear like, what do I say? What? What is, what is, <laughs> what do they mean? And, and he, he's like kind of freaking out and. It's a, uh, this is like, just just like, like a rock star who's like, what, what are you guys doing here? Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, like, 
Mick Jagger is like, what? Why are you all here? Yeah. I'm just like, playing some music. How, yeah. do you, how did you recognize me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how do you know my name? Um, and uh, yeah, th- so one of the others is like, don't, don't worry, don't worry. And it like helps him sit down. It's like, because we love you. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> like all of the little yeah. boats are yeah. Like somebody falls yeah. out of their boat and yeah. comes up from the water, like, yeah! <laughs> yeah you're a celebrity, um, Sal. Apparently. Not just so. Just let them have a moment. It's also your moment. Just let them have a moment. Not everything is about me. Um. Sir. Said, said no bard ever <laughs> in the universe. That's how you know he's lying. Odd person. <laughs> We're surrounded by pod people. Mm. Um, Next you're going to say you don't like puns and then do that Donald Sutherland thing. Yeah. <laughs> in a, um, a very sort of like crossing the Delaware pose, there's there's another, there's a, a, a like rowboat a little bit bigger than a rowboat with a with a sail but there's, there's a, a a guy standing on the front of it with one foot up mm-hmm. kind of a you know yeah, captain, captain morgan, morgan yeah. you yeah. know um but he's in a just kind of work clothes you know like pants shirt just twill you know like n- nothing fancy and a, a a white bib apron um over that with uh I don't think he's got anything on him, but uh, has like a, a a a string of like link sausages around his neck, and uh, like a just big old summer sausage in his hand, and um, you actually well anyone who remembers being in Creek Town for a period of time like mm-hmm. Wallet, yeah. you were here for a little while. Yeah. Is this what I think it is? Well, I don't know. Oh, you go. Is it? Should I make this like? I don't think it is because I'm not referencing something. Okay. Oh, okay. Who okay. did you think it is? Wasn't there? There was a dude. There was a dude. Oh, the was like Abe like, Froman, the Sausage King of Chicago. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no. I was uh, looking at yeah, that. No, too. it's true. Yeah. Uh, yes. No, no, no. This is okay. this is the butcher. Like okay. Creek Town has a butcher. Um, you there, Boyardi? <laughs> yeah. Um, Sven. Sven Boyardi. Um, <laughs> Is uh, you know, waving the summer sausage in the air at Sal, right? He's like, we we heard you like sausages, <laughs> and, and we have gifts. Um, and they're sort of asking for permission to come alongside. Uh, I look messages? over at everybody. No, it sounds like salami, but it's a message that is traveled yeah. by ship. Right, <laughs> telephone yeah. by ship. Yeah. You'll try something new. Uh, They're good y- Yes. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> I, I, I wave, I um, wave them over. Yeah, great. Now, this, this butcher either uh, has just a couple of fucks to give or has dealt with celebrities before, but is, is like much cool, like up close, he like climbs up and he's got this like, like little burlap sack of stuff. Right. And he's like, okay, so I brought all this for my shop. I just, I wanted you to have this. I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. Sorry, too late, but here you go. Um, this is, this is on me, but you know, if you need anything, you know where my shop is. I'm happy to provide you with whatever you need while you're in town. Uh, it's it's so great to meet you, really. I mean, thank you. Thank you. I, thank you. It's real generous. Yeah, and he's he's looking at all of you, but like keeps going back to Sal. I mean, Sal is pretty cool. <laughs> I'm gonna look. He's gonna just back up a little, you mm-hmm. know, hide behind the mask, whatever. Okay. Fade away. Yes. <laughs> just mm-hmm. Homer Simpson into yeah. the yep. bushes. <laughs> all right. I'm T- Tarina, I think, comes up speechless. next to you. Tarina's uh, like looking in the back, like, what did you do? We'll talk about that later. And like she like takes a big sniff and like mm-hmm. closes up in her lap sack and just holds it. Mm-hmm. Like uh I'll take this below. 
Yeah, don't don't let Portina get to the, all that. No. <laughs> Saucy. <laughs> that much cured meat is very bad for us. Mm-hmm. Yep. And like, trust me, you don't want to be cleaning that up. No. No. Days. I mean, she is a wear human, so maybe her stomach's a little different from cat. But have it's you great. ever seen a cat who has like gotten really? Into yeah, something? never mind. Mm-hmm. I retract the statement. <laughs> Especially raw stuff. Let's not yeah. think about that. All right. Uh, mm. Life experience having eaten too much summer sausage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. It is. It is delicious. Um, and so he's like, okay, well, uh, I guess I should get going. Sorry to bother you. And he is gonna like just go over to his boat. Uh it's, it's is there something I should give him a token as well? I think just being nice and saying thank you works unless you have something in mind. Oh, I know what he says. He says, um, does anyone remember what the, the quirky guy around town, what, what we called him? Because I was looking oh, through my notes and I didn't book. see his name pop up. I think it's a Admiral of Creek Town. Oh, the Admiral. Yes. Mm. Um, yeah, so he says, well, I, I don't want to keep you. The Admiral has a whole ceremony waiting for you. And it, he says it with a wink and out because we all know how odd the Admiral is, mm. but like... Mm. We also take care of him and respect him because he's just our weird old man who lives here. We love the Admiral. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he he says that as he's sort of like backing away to his boat. Um, well, th- thank you again. Um, we definitely appreciate it. Okay. Um, yeah, he just nods and, then, oh, okay, okay, yeah, great. And... He uh, yeah disappears over the side. Quite nimble for a guy his size. I mean, he's probably like six six and and built like a linebacker. Not totally muscly, but just like he's a big dude. We should probably dock as soon as possible before everyone else gets on their knees and tries to give us gifts. Are they could we take a while. Safe in a dock here. Are we safe anywhere really? Also, it seems like this would be the safest place, considering. All eyes are on us. You. Um, Harper, who's been standing back a little ways, uh, steps up to say, you know, like, I, I could keep an eye on things on the ship if you want. I really cannot go into Creek Town. So I'd be happy to just keep an eye on things here. Understood. I mean, Torino will be here too. And Danny. And hopefully Portina. You hear from below as Tarina's still like going downstairs. She's like, I'm gonna get drunk. Kotil's here. Kotil. Hmm? Oh, yeah, Kotil. Yeah, Kotil's on the ship. He's probably been working on some. Yeah. He's like, Who are these people on the <laughs> ship? <laughs> he's like, He's like, Don't lines. we have a job yeah, to do? What's he's doing his job as a professional <laughs> sailor. You know, like all the maintenance that the ship requires. Um, He's like, does anyone else actually work here? Yeah, I think he and Danny have been working, yeah. right, this whole time. Just, like, keeping an eye, like, trying to eavesdrop a little bit, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's, well, I, I think we've accounted for everyone on board now. Yes. Well, how, <laughs> how's Doc responding to this? Uh, not, uh, not visible at okay. the moment. I, um, I, that was actually on my mind, and I meant to say she's mm-hmm. notably mm-hmm. not present. I just thought, you know, Doc's brand of sarcasm and oh, down yeah, to earth. Yeah, we'll probably get an earful later, yeah. though. Yeah. Uh, I suppose we should dock. We do have business in town, and it'll be easier to conduct that than trying to row through all this. True. Yeah. Do, do you... we want to stop here, or do we want to travel on to Spire? Does anyone have urgent business in town? Not that I know of. Is there a better place in Spire to dock? We can just go over land. Yep, we can just oh, go there. Okay. Yeah, you could pull up and All dock right. at the, like... So we kind of have to go through there's, there's, the town. There's a land port at Spire mm-hmm. uh, where big ships will come in and, and pick up sailstone and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can bypass Creek Town. 
Yeah, it's probably for the best. Otherwise, we might get stopped and recognized. Yeah, and the the big port is it does deal with like dignitaries, and you could probably get a slip that is for you know like high security or you know visiting ambassadors or whatever. So. Well, then that makes a good deal of sense. Until we figure out what all this is about. It's a thought. Yeah. Spire's also more likely to have the people who are a little bit more knowledgeable about other things that we need to... Yep, and worth noting that the, the queen had mentioned... Uh, that the cult was forming in the spire specifically, mm-hmm. which was near Creek Town, but it, she didn't think that like Creek Town was an immediate danger. But Spire is also a like city more than a town, right? Like it's a, uh, it's like a university town, right? Because a big deal. Mm-hmm. Remember, like a big mm-hmm. part of it was this big vertical yep. library situation, and it's a place where scholars come to learn about sailstone or magic in general. Um, and their, you know, your workers' union is very strong. A lot of people come here to learn about how to form unions um, and get training in that, which is good. Uh, but uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a big bustling city with that vibe of like, uh, you know, being a, a university town, right? Where it's, it's just there's a lot of like you see professors around and it's it just has that scholarly vibe that's mm. the word i wanted there's like more bookstores than you would expect <laughs> you know like some sure this has an unusual number of bookstores and alchemists and uh coffee shops and, yeah, and yeah. bars yes <laughs> yes pizza places and for brothels. Some strange yes yes um brothels isn't a disparaging term is it no, no, I don't think so. Okay. Okay. Right. None of us here, audience, none of us here disrespect sex work. Like, that's ridiculous. I just didn't but want to... Like, a, it's a place where sex work happens, it seems like. Right. Like, I think it's it's a fairly neutral word. I just yeah. wanted to make sure I wasn't yeah. using that inappropriately. Um, so, anyway, uh, we're going to bypass Creek Town? I think so, yeah. yeah. Okay. And dock at the Spire. Okay, now the Admiral is waiting on the dock oh, at Creek Town. No. Now you could. I. I. Did you all have a landing dinghy of some kind? I'm sure there's. Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna say great. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna say no if you tell me there <laughs> is one. So that's up to you. Uh, if you wanted to park just out in the water and take the dinghy in to like say your quick hellos whatever you want to do that could be an option i don't want to disappoint the admiral no, wouldn't it hurt to pay respect at least it okay. is the admiral yeah and he did come all this way just to greet us don't want him well, to i mean he us. lives in creek town i know but he came to he this came side to this of creek side town of yes <laughs> yeah. he came out to see he put in effort yeah apparently he put something together so I guess we'll go see what that is. And for scale, I'm picturing Creek Town as this like collection of like plank, you know, like nailed together planks and um, you know, pretty rickety dock work, uh, about uh, you know, a hundred yards wide at the shore, and then it reaches out about two hundred yards, I think. Uh so it's this like long mm. rectangle of like just shitty like shacks tacked onto shacks and it's just got longer mm. uh you know as mm. people are like oh well there's there's space here it's an ocean right let's put some floaties under it right it's it's out past the point where you could realistically put pylons down you do have to build additional pylons but uh, we're, <laughs> yeah <it's> beyond where <laughs> you can get to that um so how draining is it for you to bank people invisible? Mm, it's a it's a bit taxing. If you were to assign a point value, they say eighty uh... percent. Of, of how I'm currently feeling, I'd say about forty percent of my juice, of my spoons. Mm. Well, that's if one just of to us... turn you invisible. This works. 
You really want to be invisible, don't you? It's fine. You, I don't want to overly tax your resources. Why, why are you so adamant about not being seen? Is there someone here? I don't, don't trust any of this. I trust none of this. I trust none of this at all. I'm like, like, seen. like if you could see the fur on the back of like Lucky's neck, um, it would be standing completely on uh, end. <laughs> poofy tail, if you had one. Yes. Yeah. Pooja, um, no, no, I remember. Wall has the like black hole stun eyes, right? Or was that Soulgate? He has Soulgate, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but you had something like that, or you, or you, I can talk to dead people. What's the thing where you like become a wraith? Wraith is yes. that what it's called? Wraith? Yes. Um, can you give me some of the description of that? You become a wraith, a creature between two worlds. Uh, this, there's a lot of stuff about when I have zero HP, mm -hmm. um, but you appear ghostly and translucent, but you are still visible to others. Yeah. Um, how much AP does that cost? Zero. Okay. So if you would like to pay one AP, I will let you wraith from shadow to shadow. Um, so they have to be like shadows that you can see, right? But if you step into one, you could come out of the other one for one AP. Sweet. Um, I'm gonna do that. And which, I... which I think is a thing you're just realizing you can do, as you're like, oh, I really don't want to be seen. How do I do this? And you, you feel your body sort of like discorporate a little, and you're like, Ooh, how did I do that? I like to I... think like Arjun's like comes up. It's like there was a time, and then there's like like a it's like. Stupid memory wipes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this was something you should have remembered how to do, and it just got caught in the red flashy things. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> you just really don't want to be you sure it's not that you have some, you know, ex-lover in town that you don't want seeing you? I mean, I'm sure that I do, but also, like... We've been doing like six years now of pretending we never met, so I feel like that could go on forever. All right, you, know, <laughs> you just seem to be taking this whole thing real personally, so yeah, not so much personally as, as I don't appreciate surprises in this way. You prefer and to you, be the surprise, yes, and you valued yes. your anonymity. I still have Which... my anonymity and I would like to keep it. Yes. I'm going to hold onto it with every single one of these claws and like throws up like <laughs> wait, how did I get that many more weapons? But whatever. Mm, yeah. Is that anime. one of those is Tarina's yeah. blade mm -hmm. that she loaned to Portina? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Lucky. I understand. Your caution is probably a good idea. Do you want to scout ahead? That's fine. We'll, we'll we'll distract the crowd, and you can let us know what terrible thing awaits us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you want to slip below, if there's no lamp, right, you're in shade, uh, and any shade you could see on the dock is something you could slip to. So yeah, if, if wait, that's what slip you into do. the slip. Wait, I can I can help you out. And he's gonna find some kind of wall into here. Draw an orange, yes. orange door. <laughs> yes. Um, and then he will hand you the chalk. Did you just spray paint? No, I, face? I used I used chalk. Oh. <laughs> I chalk wall. Um. Like you were. Yeah. It might make a spray. Like, can. It's like graffiti. Chalk, I'm sorry. <laughs> Pepper spray. Oh God. <laughs> no. No, it's just chalk. It's like children's graffiti. Um, he says, when you need, if you need to hurry back to the ship, draw a door. Or something large enough for you to get through with the blue chalk. And you'll have about 60 seconds to go through. And then it will close. And you have to solve a puzzle with it. <laughs> Don't listen to him. I appreciate Just... your trust in me. Yep. We look out for each other. Is that so? Uh, Wall's going to make <laughs> eye contact with, with third. Well, please don't make this awkward. Make what awkward? <laughs> no. Throw up his hands and walk away. Well, this is an interesting day. 
boy, is it. Shall we go see the Admiral? That's an understatement. Uh, yes, let's. I think the sooner we get through this gathering, the sooner we can be about the rest of our business. Okay. Uh, well, Lucky, I'm going to describe some things for you first. Everybody else, you're going to see this eventually, so you might as well tune in. Uh, <laughs> Don't fall asleep in the next 30 seconds. <laughs> um, but you, you, you realize, like, it's not that you have to make this wraith thing happen. It's that a lot of the time you are unconsciously stopping yourself from becoming a wraith. And you just allow yourself to be pulled from as you you know direct your attention at this other shadow you feel yourself being pulled towards it and you just are like pulled through the porthole of the ship and you miss a lot like all that time in between but you you know are on your feet in the shadow of this like stack of crates and stuff that is uh, piled up near where you can see the admiral and a, a gathering of people here um it, including the most recent uh mayor dawson i think there's a, was there multiple alive currently or just that we've had many mayors dawson we we had many, many mayors, many mayors many dawson. Dawson. okay but there's only one now yes. mm-hmm. okay um so you can see Ma- mayor dawson is present but is like behind and to the right of the admiral right like this is the admiral's show um and just a number of people there's like a brass band that's getting ready they're like warming up their instruments and mm-hmm. you know um with uh you know like a central hurdy-gurdy i don't have to mention that right obviously. like it's yeah, obvious. That's, obvious that's the instrument of the time yeah mm-hmm. hurdy-gurdy with backup brass mm-hmm. right like, yep. just mm-hmm. a very normal or you know organization yeah, first hurdy-gurdy yeah mm-hmm. it's a prestigious position yeah. absolutely firsty gurdy <laughs> Oh, the Thirsty Gertie could be a, a Hurdy Gertie bar? Like a piano bar, oh, but a Hurdy Gertie bar? I should make bar. up my yeah. YouTube channel name, Thirsty Gertie. Yeah. Yes. I'll think about it. OC, OC, OC. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Specializing in uh, 30th year birthday parties. <laughs> You're 30 the at the per- <laughs> You're 30 at the Thirsty Gertie. <laughs> We're going to table this for later. <laughs> anyway. I'm real pleased with myself. That's, <laughs> that's where we're at right now. How much damage? Uh, I yeah. Just... Psychic? I died. I just Psychic died. Oh, oh, oh died. Dead. I have left the room. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah, you can see this, you know, uh, arrangement being set up. Um, and just about everyone who's gathered, there's probably... 100 people out in boats, right? There's another 100 people in various places, like... You know, some kids have climbed up on top of whatever rickety shack. Uh, you know, there's there's just a, another hundred or so people gathered here. And there's probably only a four or five hundred total in Creek Town. So this is most of the town, or half the town is here. Um, so what do you want to do? Hmm. I'm going to look around. I guess, like, with this many people, see around the back there someone else like the admiral has organized the admiral things which is lovely mm-hmm. very nice old man but other other people like wait how much of that gang that we had to run from last time this year mm-hmm. the land, land sharks. sharks yeah now the land sharks were a uh function of a a gang that seemed to be taking issue with the Afandris family uh if i recall mm-hmm. correctly um and they will almost certainly be interested in this. Like, everyone knows the third is here. So mm-hmm. that's, that's worth checking. Um, and, oh, shoot. There was something else I was going to tell you, too. Uh, oh, it's probably not that important. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the... Uh, it sounds like you want to scout around a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Let's have a die roll. This isn't a stealth roll. Like, I'm assuming your stealth is fine. Uh, unless you roll a one. <laughs> Seven. Seven? That looked like a one for a second. I, mm-hmm. like, I know, right? But the yeah. one is right next to it, so I could um, definitely yeah. clearly yeah. see that it's a seven. Okay, Thank but that's still, that's a tough choice, not a fit. Yes. Uh, so, 
Uh, as you're looking around, you can see that there are, um, you know, there's all these people gathered. It's a little tricky a couple times where you have to stay in the shadows. Um, and you find yourself coming around a corner and you sense it more than anything, but you realize there are like three or four land sharks coming down one, like everything in Creek Town is a rickety alleyway, right? <laughs> it's just alleys all the way down. Um, so there's like four land sharks coming down this way. And then there's two people in these gray, like light gray um, hooded robes with the like their hands together and the sleeve, you know, like the sleeves mm. come together and they're just like shoulder to shoulder walking in lockstep down another way. And you either are going to have to confront the people in the robes, the land sharks, or wraith to somewhere else uh, and spend an action or uh, yeah, action point to do so. Uh, that's your hard choice. But you're, you're going to run into one of those two groups because you, you sort of like, you know, backtracked and lost track of where you were for a second. And now you're in this split second decision. I am very interested in people in robes okay. hiding their hands and other visible skin pieces. Mm -hmm. So you're going to bump into them? Yes. Okay. Yes, I am. All right. Yeah. So the land sharks go on their way. And you uh, do you want to like physically body check them on purpose or just stumble into view? I think I'm going to body check them on purpose. Hmm. Okay. Because, uh, you know... Um, I would very much like to know who these people are. And robes. They're so billowy when you trip in them. True. Uh, okay, I'm going to have you roll with advantage. Um, this is an attack roll, but you're not really using any of your weapons. So um, we'll see what happens. While I do this, <laughs> during the first scene on Thursday, I went to like walk down a hallway in one of our sets. And just like out of out of left field, <laughs> like one of the other crew members totally body checked me nice. into the wall. Oh, <laughs> and were you okay? I was. Did they feel terrible? Yes. Okay. Um, it was fine. I wasn't hurt or anything. It was just so surprising because yeah, it was like, like first thing in the like, morning. Am it I was just like, like it was just yeah. like boing boing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seventeen. Nice. Okay. Um. You can bump into them. Do you want to do one harm to both of them or uh, get them kind of tangled up with each other? I want to get them tangled up with each other. Or reveal Ooh. hoods, let's say. I don't think you could reveal everything that's under the robes, but um, maybe you don't want to. <laughs> I mean, who knows what they're wearing underneath there? Like, uh, yeah. only consensual nudity. Um, yes. I will reveal hoods. Okay. Yeah, so you stumble into them and make it look like an accident, right? You're a professional. Um, and you knock a couple of the hoods back. And um, this is a couple of, I'd say, average-sized humanoids, right? But they're not human. Uh, one is a, uh, a lizard person who I would describe mostly like like a, a cobalt is something we can all picture in our heads, right? But this is not little, right? This is like a six foot tall, like hmm. humanoid looking thing. Uh, not also not like a D and D dragonborn, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's much more the lizardy side of that. Um, and the other one is a uh, a bird person, that's sort of like shockingly bright yellow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> With a little short beak and squawks mm. at the like, literally squawks. Yeah, uh, as as you're as you crash into them, and uh, the 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 and the lizard person has these like shimmery green gray scales, uh, and that person looks at you and hisses. Um, <laughs> Watch where you're going. My friend doesn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sorry, 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 
sorry. Do, uh, do you have no idea who we are? I'm sure you are very important people. <laughs> you must be the people that are going to, that they threw that thing for. And I gesture back towards the end of the wharf. We're the ones who let them have their little party. We run Creek Town. Hmm. You're the mayor, Dawson's. Um. The. Uh, <laughs> this is very good. Uh, the the bright yellow bird person uh, doesn't say anything, but you know yanks their sleeve up, and uh, they they have like hands, right? And their arms are a little feathered, but otherwise there's like skin underneath, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and there's this uh, black tattoo, but fairly intricate circle with uh, how how much does Lucky know about runes or rune magic? A decent amount. Okay. Uh, when it has to do with okay life and death, it, it absolutely mm. does. That's literally what this is about. Is that that these are like uh, you know taking. Um, one of the things I love in the King Killer Chronicles is their runes have to fit together the right way, and if they don't, you have to get like a linking rune. But understand, like that's going to complicate things itself, and you have to like get all that to fit together. They have taken several of the like life and well-being and health and all these things, and then twisted them around with like upside down death and sort of things. And it's it's pretty. It's actually a relatively simple thing that you could. You could scrawl on a napkin without too much trouble, but uh, this is this like circle tattoo that's on the inside of their forearm, and the the lizard person points at the bird person's arm, right? I was like shove my face into it really closely, yeah. like. <laughs> okay, so the lizard person's gonna try to like shove you up against the crates. Mm. Uh, is that okay? Or do you want to not have that happen? I think I'll let it happen, okay. but like also do that thing where you like let somebody push you, but you mm -hmm. like flap out mm -hmm. enough to like distribute the force. Yep. You don't That's actually fine. get hurt. Yeah, we don't have to roll for that. Um, and they get kind of get in your face, and uh, you must be new here. Yes, I just arrived and there was a giant celebration and people kept passing out like somebody else kept buying rounds. It was great. Creek Town is the best. <laughs> and he, this lizard person like looks over their shoulder at the bird and the bird's like, oh, I don't know. And by the way, for the audience, like this is like a jacked big bird, <laughs> right? Like that bright yellow, but like broad shoulders and like. I, I, look, one of my favorite memes ever is birds with arms. I'm, I'll never give it up. <laughs> birds with arms is one of the greatest things that's ever happened to the internet. I, I stand by that. Uh, but uh, the, they're just giving body language, for the, the bird person. So... Uh... <laughs> wow, that's amazing. <laughs> um, credit to the chat tonight. Uh a live viewer just asked whether this person is yoked. Yes. Yes, they are. Uh, you win, Twitch. I well done. I don't always see chat, but when I do. <laughs> um, thank you for that. The, um, the lizard person says, just watch your step and remember we're in charge around here. Mayor's Dawson, of course. Yes. We are not the mayor. Then what should people call you? Why how you am I supposed to remember? <laughs> like, how am I supposed to remember that you're in charge if you don't have names or a title? You must have a title. We are deacons of the mist. Sounds very important. No one can ever forget that. 
That was my first band. <laughs> um, the bird person, like, it's not very loud, but it's like a squawky, warble, like, kind of a complicated... We'll go with, like, bird Chewbacca. Chewberta. Like, like that, you know, that quality of... Chewbracca. Yeah, there we there go. There we go. <laughs> Chewbrock. Um... But you get what I mean, right? Like, mm-hmm. kind of trilly bird sound, but that guttural, right? Uh, and the lizard looks back to you. Well, do you speak bird person? I feel like the bird people and the cat people don't necessarily have the best relations of all this right. <laughs> in the past. There's a history of conflict. Yep. It was a beheading incident. It's not been... You probably know just, like... The only thing that was left was a couple kind of, of like, feathers, like... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, I know. I know. You know the cuss words. Oh yeah, you know all the curses. Uh, yeah. Okay. So it's not that. Um, all the corpses being dragged back to someone's house. Mm. Yeah. Um, those, those were all dragged back to our houses. Those were yeah. yeah. So the uh, lizard person looks back at you, or, or the, like to the bird person is like, oh, yeah, uh, and then sniffs you, if that's if you'll let that happen. I'm gonna be like, okay, yeah. him, but like, still in that slurry, like, mm. okay, but you're, not you're my mom. but you don't actually smell like alcohol, right? Like, mm. not necessarily. Mm. Uh, okay, I'm gonna roll a perception check. Do it. <laughs> not more than usual. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's a five. Um, and the lizard person kind of just like. Gives you a last shove against the crate and steps away and says to the the bird person like, "Yeah, right. She's just drunk, and they're gonna." The, they're well, like, luckily, it's allergy just, season for lizards. Yeah. <laughs> just watch your step. The mist runs Creek Town. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, kind of like, like stumble a little bit onto the other side of the crate like I'm gonna like pee or something sure. I don't know. Oh, what I do mean, people do so, on the other side of crates? Well just re- uh, re- rewind just a little yeah. bit you know the, he said, he said the mist the mist run creek town and he says uh, or they say you, you see this or this and he points to the bird person's they, put, they point to the bird person's tattoo and you know who's in charge totally they, in charge and then you stumble away and they also go on their way and pull their hoods up very sassily. <laughs> That's a word. We showed them. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we run Creek Yeah, town. we're tough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're charged. Yeah. It took a lot for, it took a lot for me not to just be like, yes, the Dawson's of the Mist. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was thinking Mr. Dawson. Right. <laughs> oh, very okay, good. Mr. Yeah, Dawson. Also, okay. That's very good. Okay. So. Great. Well, that was a lot of information. And I'm going to use that opportunity of, like, you know, expelling bodily fluids behind the crate, crate to rave on back to that ship. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, you get to a, a spot where you can see the ship and then... And it's a lot closer now, too, because it's coming in to, you know, where you're going to come across on the little dinghy. Yeah, we were on the dinghy. You just used that chalk I gave me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. I forgot. I'm sorry. I will use the chalk. Did that leave chalk behind, though? I think there's no real specifications, but I know because Mm. you wanted to limit it, I just figured after a minute, both ends close. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it says for a minute. So with that limit. Yeah, once it's open, it only stays open for a minute. And the other thing is that it'll be... I'm going to cat on through it, so. <laughs> like, like, Lucky comes back onto the ship, mm-hmm. like, like in a weird, your shoulders aren't supposed to do that way. Oh, yeah. Mm. And uh, I'm like, I just wanted to make sure that the outgoing hull was as small as possible. Ah, okay. And cats are liquid, so you should be yep. able to. <laughs> That's, well, that makes sense. Think you now, we're, we're not on the ship. Yeah, so. we're heading to the Admiral. This so you're on the ship. Oh, okay. You all have already left. Well, yeah, and I think you, you could look out and see that the dinghy is on its way mm-hmm. here. Okay. So you can decide if you want to go to the ship or not. Hmm. Well, I'm going to keep this 
I'm going to keep this in my pocket then for yeah. a quick escape for all of us. So, yeah. stay on the dock for now mm-hmm. and just mm-hmm. let the cultists go on the way. Spoiler, those are the cultists. <laughs> oh. What? I just, guys, I think those were the cultists. <laughs> How did we not see this? Wow. I think those were the cultists. Look, if you're not going to put your cultists in, in robe, like hooded robes, what, what are you even doing? That's why are you even bothering? Yeah. yeah. Um, what is the world coming to? Lizards and birds existing together. They're so good. I wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> you think of plenty of other wonderful puns and jokes. Thank you. They have you a, they're, they're bound together by their egg. <laughs> that wasn't a joke. I was just saying, uh-huh. like, that's why you've got birds and lizards mm-hmm. together. They have snake people. Yeah. Maybe. And oh, platypus. And platypus. I was about to say the platypus cultists. I mean, the platypus cultists, I feel like. There's a there's definitely like a split in that faction. Because mm. mm. they're also mammals. Yes. I see. Okay. Glorious. What? Okay. Speaking of glorious, let's go see the admiral. Um. Yeah. So the little boat is you know escorted to the the dock with the, everybody like yay, but it kind of keep a respectful distance, uh, and. They, um, you know, they they put down a little like ramp for you to come up to the dock, and the admiral gestures to the band, and, just, and like kind of heart, like <laughs> mm. the, the song starts going. It's not Wall's song. It's it's like Creek Town's, mm. you know, hometown the song. The, yeah, the alma mater do, of do, Creek do, Town. Do, do, do. Yeah, uh, <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, it's the hurdy-gurdy version of Dawson's Creek theme, uh, <laughs> with brass backup, obviously. Yes. <laughs> Goes without saying. Uh, and, uh, the Admiral, you realize, that, you know, up close you can see has, um, like a, a paper-wrapped package, it's like a long, it's probably like three foot long paper, like brown paper wrapped thing. I think that's the key to the city. <laughs> Maybe it's, it's more sausage. The tentacle to the city. <laughs> we'll find out. And is um, who's gonna approach the admiral? It, it doesn't look like he's waiting to. He's not like going up to one of you individually. So I'll I'll take the lead on take this. Points. Okay. Okay. Thou seems to be very famous. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the admiral, uh, who I don't think looks ancient i think he's probably 65 70 you know but also like lives outside a lot so is you know pretty tan and like mm. you know wrinkly and just looks older but up close you realize like oh he's not that old he's older but you know um and he uh has a, a pretty strong voice still and says well salamander uh the person and the ship i Yes. Uh, welcome back to Creek Town. We uh, offer you all of our hospitality. I take the package. Okay. And... and you could, like, just the like weight and movement of it, you're like, there's a goddamn fish in this thing. <laughs> yep. And it's a big <laughs> ass fish. It's like, mm. a, not quite a tuna, but like, mm. it's a big ass fish. Okay. Um, and, like, honestly, pretty heavy. Like, is the mayor yoked too? <laughs> the admiral? Like, mm. don't know. Mm. Um, but it's got that admiral strength. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. You don't have much of a sense of smell, do you, Sal? No. Okay. Yeah. The the two of you. No, no, no not you. Me. Yes, Me you two. Uh, right away, it's it's like a fresh fish smell, <laughs> not like uh oh. <laughs> but you're like. Mm. Is that a fish? Uh, I don't know. Well, everything you're smells fishing like fish here. Ta- yeah, well, that's true. Town, yeah, Creek Town is know. a fishing town. That's true. Jason, I want to interrupt the game here for just a moment okay. and tell a personal story from my life. Okay. Once, on my birthday, I got a box and I opened the box and inside was a dead fish. <laughs> and the, the, this was from my parents. And I fell over backwards because, you know, visions of horse-headed beds mm. and all this sort of stuff. And they were so apologetic about it because what the what the 
gift was was a deep sea fishing trip mm. but they didn't just want to give me like a card or something oh. so they put this fish in a box that i opened oh, on man. my birthday and it was like wow. the worst thing because That's you know fun. yeah it was <laughs> so it wasn't rotten no 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 it was, it was just it was a fresh fish. It was just scary. It's, it's a fresh yeah, fish like a in a box. Yeah. So to have you say, oh, he's handing you this fish. I was like, does Jason know that uh, story? No. I'm so sorry. That's awesome. Wow. Was wow. It, are you okay? Yeah. Or, no, no, no. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm perfectly fine. You're traumatized. Okay. I'm, I'm traumatized from the real life event, not from the game. Okay. At all. Okay. I, I wasn't sure if this was like, wow. An no, no, no. no. Was like, oh, by the way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. I, I respect it if it was, but like... No, uh, of course. Of okay. course. I, I know that's you would. A, that's a cute story, I was, though. I was just thinking it was very appropriate. Thank I wanted to share with everyone. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Wow. Um, how, what a funny coincidence. What are the other... <laughs> that's crazy. Um, I realize this guy, the Admiral to me, has the vibe of the guy who juggled fish on the Muppet Show. Um, you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. What was that guy's name? Uh, so Lou Zealand. Lou Zealand. Wow, that, yes. that's a big Muppet. What a pull. Thank you. You're yeah, welcome. Uh, that's impressive. So that's the vibe. He doesn't look exactly like a Muppet, but like. He's the vibe of a Muppet. Yeah. Um, and uh, then the mayor steps up and has um, on his wrist. Uh, or like forearm or four chains with like a key pendant on them and it says uh i i have one for your companion i'm sorry i don't remember her name we call her lucky because she's a ah oh, lucky, lucky lucky joshi yes uh, we've yes. heard the stories yes. okay very good we weren't sure if that was the same person ah. yeah. okay well anyway uh sal Thank you. Please know that you're always welcome here in Greek Town. And <clears throat> third O. <laughs> Close enough. Thank he has like a little bit of a wing, like he knows it's not your uh-huh. name, but uh-huh. is being cute because it's your nickname. He gives the <laughs> yeah. finger guns. <laughs> Thanks for taking Thank part you. in an inside joke that you were a part of. <laughs> What's that? Finger crossbows? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, well. Your Majesty. Uh, I am in a cloak. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Okay. Uh, yeah. I guess he wouldn't offer you anything. Though. Okay. Is it? Uh, and is um, my two companions uh, are not available at the moment, but I will make sure that they receive your thanks, and if you wish, I will uh, provide them with the keys as well. Okay. And I will, you know, I, I bowed to the admiral holding the fish. Mm. I bow to uh, Mayor Mayor Dawson. Uh, and um, as mayor, I'm obligated to let you know that the security of Creektown has been handed over to the Gray Mist. And he's like starting to talk through his teeth a little bit because he's trying to keep smiling. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And we couldn't be happier about having them be part of our community. That sounds lovely. Of, of course. They sound very reliable. Yes. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I'm not very familiar. I feel like I would have updated y'all over comms. If I'm not uh-huh. gonna join you, yeah, here. yeah. we have we our little, mm-hmm. yeah, we have little. We do. You keep forgetting that we have or them. earrings or whatever they we decided moved they were. It to my good ear. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, you've now heard the term at least the gray mist, and um. So, anything else we want out of this welcome? Scene? Otherwise, they'll just sort of let you into town or let you go back to your ship or, or whatever, but they were just thrilled that you wanted to come how, say hello. How many other people are, are in the immediate vicinity? So There's like 100 ship? people in boats and 100 people... I mean, like, within a 10-foot radius. Oh, uh, there's the Admiral, the mm-hmm. Mayor, the Five-Piece Band, mm-hmm. uh, and a, a, a few people that are probably just close to us, so maybe like mm-hmm. 10 or 12. Okay, I'm just gonna reach out and shake his hand real uh-huh. quick, and I'll I'll, I'll step in close and be like, "The mayor." Tell, yes, be like, oh, you want to tell us more about this green mist you're talking about? Uh, so you're saying that kind of surreptitiously, right? Yeah, as if I'm giving them a friendly greeting. Yeah. Is there something we should know about this green mist? 
Okay. Um, can so I? I'm, I'm trying to keep it from mm-hmm. the, not from you, but like from right. The no, 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 of course. Can in I, case they're in there. Can Can I see that you're making this attempt? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Like I don't know if you want me to roll to, to see that, but I can. I was. I'll provide a kind of distraction. Take a couple yeah, of steps it. away. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And raise up the fish. Oh. Mm. And also call out, uh, thank you very much, all of the residents of, okay. of Creek Town. We appreciate Great. you. That is blah, 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 blah. just an auto success. <laughs> there, everybody goes nuts. This is great. That same person falls out of the boat again. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I yeah. can, but still. <laughs> um, and now I'd like you to roll with advantage. You're. Your okay. role is convincing the mayor that it's safe to talk to you. Well, in that case, I'm going to pull out Cosmopolitan, which uh-huh. costs me nothing. Um, basically, I'm an expert in study of cosmopolitan cultures, particularly in cities and nations. Um, if you're falsely representing a citizen or official of a city or nation, your authenticity is and your authenticity is challenged. You may use a local mannerism to fool common people. Um, you may come up with the mannerism, blah blah blah. Um, basically, I just kind of want to convince him, like, yes, I, I'm, yeah, I want you. you. Can, I, I'm trustworthy. I mean, he, and he was already sense. kind of letting it slip mm-hmm. a little. So, huh. okay, well, that was a 17 and a one. So we'll take the 17. <laughs> yeah. uh, full success. So, um, get to use this. The the mayor leans in and and just says, I, I can't say more here. Um, can I speak I mean, with you on your ship? Yeah, yes, you know what? We would be so honored if we could give you a personal tour of the Salamander. Well, the, the honor would be entirely mine. And the, the, the crowd is like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, please, please come join us on our on our dinghy. Great. And um, the Admiral doesn't put out at all that he doesn't seem put out at all. This is a different sentence. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, he does. Uh, <laughs> Doesn't seem put out at all that not being invited to the ship. He's just like, oh, good, the mayor's going. Um, he doesn't leave Creek Town. Mm-hmm. No, even just out there would be. It would violate his curse. Yeah, right. He's, he has a case. Yeah, yeah, he's obligated to remain. Um, he until, is Creek Town until Creek Town sinks below the waves. Yeah. Uh, Admiral will stand guard. Um, <laughs> all right. Defend the docks. Do we need to do anything between here and being back on the ship? No, let's I don't go. I think so. Okay. Um, we're back on the ship with the uh, mayor, Mayor Dawson, and it is uh, about midday now. It's clear blue skies with a few wispy clouds, just, you know, still air for the, still winds for the most part. It's, um, you know, it's a really peaceful day, really, all things considered. Um, but you're all back on the deck of the ship, and uh, you have brought the mayor aboard, and you know, done a few more like sort of public waves and whatever, and then walk into I don't know, maybe below or a more central part of the ship where people can't see everything that you're doing. Um, and uh, lucky, how do you want to get back to the ship? Or do you want to go back with them? I do. Once I see that they're taking the mayor back, mm-hmm. like I'll, I'll do that thing that I was saying earlier, where I'll draw a really small hole and sure. shove myself through it in a way that is slightly disturbing, but also, yeah. you know. <laughs> How to, wait, what? How does your spine move like that? It's yeah. incredible. Well, I had it removed. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, no problem. So you actually beat them back to the ship <laughs> and, uh, I think it was just to make it perfect. Uh, Portina was sort of like sniffing around that end of the portal of like, because it it magically activated, right? Mm-hmm. But a bunch of the this portal was bigger than the one you opened, so some of it was just like crates or just grayed out. I guess couldn't click on it. Yeah, was, yeah. And so that was confusing yeah. to her. The uh, graphics won't load in that area. Yeah, and like like your mouse doesn't turn into anything over it. It just like it, it reverts back to. Yeah. To like the, the mouse? yeah, weird, just a little black pointer. Um, <laughs> so dumb. Uh, wait, no, let's explore this. <laughs> um, but when you come through, she's like, whoa, and it's like, ha- like her butt's up one crate, and her claws are just grabbing onto everything as you come through, and and then she sees you and is like, 
I'm, I'm cool. <laughs> I wanted to be like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I I got up here. I was meaning to do this earlier. Look what so. I can do now. Yeah. It's like, it's like <laughs> hey, darling. Then I like, kind of do that headbutt thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is always how I greet people. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you remember? I wasn't scared. You were scared. <laughs> it's like, good job guarding the entrance. And she turns back into a uh, girl form and says, Thank you, Lucky. He's so happy. Uh, thanks, kid. And she, and she still, like, visibly kind of, like, hunts for words, you know, as she's, like, going. But it's not the... She doesn't struggle with the idea, right? It's just the language. The, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. But her thought process is much more sophisticated than the... Like, when you left Port Fiend in her human form looked like maybe a nine-year-old and now she looks more like a 12 or 13 year old so for whatever that's worth um yeah so you're just headed up to talk with everyone mm -hmm. like okay um guard below decks and we'll uh we'll play some more stabby games later <laughs> she gives you a thumbs up it's like straightens it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so on deck with the mayor, he says, okay, uh, th these folks had been around for years. It was never a big deal. They were always trying to get people to come into their temple, inspire. Everyone knew to just steer clear. They're kind of weirdos. They get, you know, uh, they, you know, people who are isolated or dispossessed or what. It, anyway. Uh, nobody really gave them much thought. Uh, and then over the last month or so, their numbers started growing. They've been recruiting like crazy. And they have enough, like, physicality and muscle and presence to push out a lot of the other um, organized groups that work around here. Um, we had arrangements with the Land Sharks. Everybody did, and some other groups. It was fine. It was in balance. Uh, as far as I know, they have unbalanced all of the other organizations in the city, as, aside from, you know, like, the Sailstone Union. Which, and, and you're like, well, yeah, of course. It's like an army. Right. Um, but... Uh, I didn't have any other options. They they were very insistent about taking over, and he uses air quotes, the security of Creek Town. Uh, they check incoming ships. They check cargo. Um, they're, they don't have control of the port at Spire. You know, That's he means good. like the big land port. But here... They check everything that comes in and out. So, uh, do you know what they're looking for? Uh, not really. No, they they've never taken anything from someone, or ultimately stopped someone from leaving. So uh, I don't know. They haven't found what they're looking for yet. Still. Well, then I guess we should just beat me to it. <laughs> then. We should not dock here. We should probably go to the main port and spire. Oh, yes, definitely don't dock yeah. at Creek Town. As it, much as it pains me to say. Uh, Are you safe? As safe as I can be right now. Is there an easy way to tell who these people are? Well, they'll, they uniform, they'll be in or? hooded robes. They wear yeah. hooded robes. They have this tattoo. Oh, you, you saw some. I told you. I told you. We got right. the update you over the... Not. Um, oh, same people. Okay. Push Q. Open your quest log. Yes, it's <laughs> it's there like in the journal um, amongst uh, all the flavor Sal. text. Sal, will you roll a die, please? I will. Uh, can I have? Can I have some of these dice? You can have all the dice. Five. That's oh a no! Win, maybe huh? don't roll that dice. Yep. Okay. Um, I was. 
I was rolling against what you picked up learning with uh, Mage Harper with ah. runes and stuff. N- not, not much. This. Mm. <laughs> That's... Not enough. Yeah. It's not a one. You didn't like implode your brain, but right. uh, yeah, you're just like, them. them's are runes. <laughs> I assume you said it like that. Uh, uh, po- at, at the at the tattoo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because she uh, lucky drew right. uh, like representation of it, and it's a circle with all these connected runes. I don't think he drew the runes perfectly. Cause it, no, because that would be a problem. Well, just yeah, and you just. like just saw it real quick too. So I feel like it was a shorthand that we learned in the academy. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, I know what the runes meant. It was it was life. It was health. It was longevity. It was upside down death. It was you know like. You yeah, could make, you could know all of that. You probably just don't remember all the runes exactly as they were drawn, mm-hmm. and it was an artistic rendering. But whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So, uh, and and the mayor is like, yeah, that the they have that tattoo. Uh, when you when you get serious, you you get tatted up with that. They are letting everyone go or arrive, and they don't seem to be taking anything. Are they? forcing any conscriptions no not conscriptions i mean we're paying them for security there's that component but that was we always paid someone and they're charging about what we were paying before so it's hard i can't you know raise a rebellion but all i know is when i speak to any of them the hair on the back of my neck stands up and something is not right about them and i don't know what it is I mean, they're obviously believe they are in control of the area, Creektown specifically. But uh, I'm just gonna say, if that, you know, if those heads were any bigger, they wouldn't fit through doorways. Mm. So we can play to their ego if we need to. I mean, I, I, I flattered them with, I, I mean, I didn't have a lot of choice and it, it did seem to help. Uh, that's probably a good tactic. Cool. Well, I'll flatter while you sneak. It's kind of our specialty. Oh, I'm really glad you all are back. I, I mean, look, I, uh, I, I remember the song too. And, um, I mean, I think everybody does, but, um, Look, if you need something from Creektown, uh, look, I'm I'm your guy, okay? And well, I want to be a good neighbor to your kingdom. I'm gonna. Leave oh wait, it. are you still all covered? Uh, I'm covered uh, up. Oh. oh, hold on, hold on. I need to reverse that. Okay. Uh, he, I'm okay with him knowing. No, no, but... no, he says all that. He says, I, I remember the yeah. song, just not directly to mm-hmm. you. And I want to be a good neighbor to Wall's kingdom. Right? Um, that's... Creektown can be a helpful ally. We're not powerful, but we have a lot of resources. And I just don't like what this group is up to. I, I don't know what it is, and that bothers me. I'm going to pull Wall aside and just kind of quietly say to him, like, you think we can trust him? What's no, your read on him? I don't trust anyone. Goes over to him, like, <laughs> you think we could trust him? As much as we can trust anyone in this situation, I don't want to overburden him with knowledge that could later be used against us if someone were to... Yeah. I know the tactic. Just wonder if there's anything else that he could provide for us. Information, resources to do take we... Do we tell him about the mission? No. No. Because that would put him in danger. <laughs> super super <laughs> awesome pronunciation of the word danger. <laughs> Very fancy. Yeah. Uh, no, that would put him in danger. No. And he has already told us he has no recourse mm. and ask and not what, what creek town can do for us 
But what we could do is find out if he has heard of any... There are no counter groups here, but there might be some pockets in Spire. And also if there are any locations of bases that he might know of. Mm-hmm. And I'll turn back to him and say, you're doing oh, a great if we, job. If we can interrupt for a moment. While, while that was going on, mm -hmm. I've walked the mayor in like a different direction. Sure, so that they can all confer. They can do the conferring without oh, any I concur. Work. I should have concurred. <laughs> uh, and I'm, I'm going to say, well, while you're here, perhaps you could answer a question for me. We didn't expect the welcoming that we received uh, upon arrival. Can you tell me where that information came from or well, how this was all thrown together? Um, well, we, we remember the song and I mean, you're part of it. And when we saw your ship, the, it spread through the town like a fire would spread through this town. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's not intending to make it an, an, an right, right. Analogy. I'm not. I'm not uh, laughing. Yeah, I'm. Sal's not laughing. Yeah. I'm laughing. He's just making a literal comparison. <laughs> All right. Um, we just weren't expecting it, and I uh, wanted to check in and make sure everything was. Uh, as as it presents itself. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's... I know it's a song, but, I mean, the way it was hidden and it came back, I mean, it's true, isn't it? Yes. Was there any reaction or pushback from the mist? mist? Oh, well, we're not allowed to sing it. I mean, what, what they were chanting in the boats as they came out to greet you was about as close as anyone's gotten, and it was technically out of Creek Town. Uh, yeah. Ideally, would you like the situation to go back to where it was? I mean, anything's better than what we have right now. We we got to get rid of these guys, but. Uh, I have no idea how they they went from a couple dozen total to hundreds of members. I I can't explain that. Their main temple is packed every day with worshipers. Uh, they've built two new satellite temples in the spire. Uh, I I have no way to explain this. Over the course of a month, they've just completely exploded their population. And you haven't noticed anyone from town especially joining up? Some people from town have joined. Uh, but not enough to explain the numbers. Some some people have come from afar specifically to join. Some travelers ended up joining. It seems like a mix. I Honestly, I would, yeah. All right. I don't think about that time third would rejoin. Yeah. Um, so real quick, as you two are you're wrapping up this conversation and third you're mm -hmm. on your way over to mm -hmm. talk. I think you went over kind of near where the galley is. Sure. Uh, because you were talking in the you went below decks to talk, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So you're like talking in the hold, which is near the galley. You go over kind of towards the galley. And at the end of your conversation, uh Tarina kind of like sticks her head out of the the, the galley. She's like, Derek? To the mayor. You know, Mayor Dawson, his name's not Dawson, right? Everyone knows mm -hmm, that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. Dawson's a title. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he says, Rena? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's definitely the like heart eyes and the. I don't want to wait. Yeah. <laughs> um, what are you doing? And there's a whole like, you know, this very cliched conversation of like long lost life. I thought I'd never see you again. Yeah. Yeah. All of that. What are you doing here? How did, how did you come back to, you know, all that, all that stuff. Um, <laughs> 
F fill in standard romance mm -hmm. novel dialogue here. Uh, <laughs> Third notice, this is like, huh. And, and yeah. Tarina's like, Awkward. so like bubbly and smiley in a way that is <laughs> that is creepy very <laughs> unusual mm -hmm. to this like just stone face you know she's mm -hmm. creative she's always been very creative right and and thoughtful and bright but like not mm. like you've never seen her like yeah. get crushy or yeah anything so third will just be like hey oh you know each other that that's wonderful Oh, um, we'll, oh yeah yes hi um oh you know what we'll we'll give you uh yeah plenty of time just one last question um then by all means please stay as long as you like and catch up um now did you happen to notice is there any kind of hub where these cultists have been gathering either in spire or in creek town well, well there's their main temple mm -hmm. in spire okay um, do you know where we could find that yes yeah and he, he describes mm -hmm. like there's this whole circular layout yeah. and he tells you where Hand it wave, is. Yeah. that's fine yeah let me put this pin in your map. Yeah. yeah. You... Oh, look, a way marker. Yes. <laughs> Quest log updated. Yep. Have you heard of any um, organized resistance? Um, the only thing we heard, I, I, so the mist have told us that they have put down resistances. I didn't know anyone in a resistance, but they've told us that it's pointless and that they're in charge now so i i don't know that that's true there's a lot that i don't understand about what's happening it is the most bizarre takeover i've ever seen it you've done the best you can with the resources that you i mean we, we, it's just we've seen power shifts here before it wasn't always the land sharks and then they got power and they took over Fine, whatever. This is this is weird. We understand. Well, I mean, we do need to take the solid matter into Spire, but I think we could leave a little. I, th I suppose we could wait an hour if you two want to take some time to catch up. Yeah, we should. Tarina is like, yeah, we we should talk. Yes, let's, let's go talk. Yeah, you know, we have that very important thing that we needed to talk about <laughs> to oh, over, there. over there. Yes. And and Come he's on, like, Val. well, I, I oh. should get back. I mean, the, the myth, they'll, they'll be upset if I'm gone too long. But I mean, we, we could catch up a little. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, OK. And Serena starts to kind of lead him down the hallway. Yes, and we're giving them some privacy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Third world jump. You probably have to like turn Portina around and she's like, where are they going? Come here, darling. Oh, here, your dad got a giant fish. Yeah. Uh oh yeah, what do you want to do with this thing? Uh so I unwrap it and it just it's a fish that yeah. no I mean it's a it's a I don't know, whatever the like a sea bass. Fancy sea bass of this world is. Okay. Fantasy sea fantasy bass. Fantasy mm. bass, yes. <laughs> it's kind of an orange. Yeah, we're on fire to tonight with the pond too. Yes. <laughs> um I so I'll I'll unwrap it and I will uh have put it in the galley because sure. normally that's you what I would do with something yeah. like this. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, I'll uh, I'll put it in the ice box, but I will Cut off a chunk uh, for Portina. Sure. And say, uh, you have been very good. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, she does like fish heads. Yeah. That's that's easy. Yeah. Great. She can have the fish head. Okay. Um, so, yeah. She just takes that. And she's back in cat form and just, like, takes it and to a corner. So, you're not, don't, don't take it away. Right. <laughs> right. Because that's, my, that's what my dog, my dog does this. <laughs> I give her a treat. I give my dog a treat, which I got for her. I opened the bag that she can't open because she doesn't have thumbs, got it out, handed it to her, and then she's like, screw you, dummy, and like <laughs> bolts with it to eat it in the other room. Like, I wasn't going to take it back. I don't even eat those. So Frida only eats food off of her plate. Okay. But when I give her food, 
I have to bring it over there. She knows that it's coming because I'm bringing it you have to, to put her. it on the plate for and her. And then I put it down. And then if I'm too close when she wants to eat it, she's like, fuck you, get the hell away from my food. You're dismissed. <laughs> and it's like, woman or cat, <laughs> please. That's hilarious. I don't want this. I just made it for you. Yeah. I have my own food. I've been going to attempt I don't eat that. That's cat food. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, literally, yes. Our pets are awesome. <laughs> uh, okay. So. Uh, anything else we want? We can always flash back to this, too, of like, oh, yeah, we asked him on yeah, his way yeah, out. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, so we'll just fade to black on that. Uh, and Elliptical white. Yes. Uh, and pick up with pulling into a slip at the at Spire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So your your ship lifts up out of the water. There's this you know sluice of water coming down. Um, we see where a lot of those cracks have been repaired. You know that's all sealed up and but it's got scars. Right. The ship has some some battle scars now. And it's got character. Yeah. Yeah. But none of those cracks. You know the the runes are all kind of along the keel and mostly below the water, usually. So uh, none of those were damaged, which is nice. So uh, yeah, the ship lifts up very steadily and you uh, sail up the coast a little ways. Spire is just, you know, half a mile inland. It's it's not like right there, but it's not very far. Uh, so yeah, you sail on up the road and uh, I think there's like a road for carts and then there's a big kind of section of... lane? Yeah, mm-hmm. there's like a, a, a lot of like... It's basically tall grass, right? Like they've cut down all the trees and the tall grass took over. And we're like, yeah, that's good for ships. <laughs> like, sure. <laughs> the carts can't use it. Great. The Spire Canal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, great. That's what oh, I yeah. call it. That's great. I dad- the grass lane. Sorry. <laughs> Pretend I didn't hear that. You want to talk oh. more about the life in the grass lane? Yeah. Uh, life in the grass lane. I did want to ask Harper about whether the runes in that configuration would actually confer power or mm. if it is just an inert tattoo. Mm, okay. Um, well, I'll roll for him. How about I'm going to give him advantage because this is his specialty. 14 and a 15. Okay. He has a success. Uh, all right, so he looks this over, and then he like redraws some of it. He's like, "Do you mean this?" You're like, oh, "Yes." And this, 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 and this. Yes. Okay. So he clarifies. He draws exactly how it looked in the tattoo. He's like, "Well, this upside down de- like that like breaks the whole rune. Like this is nothing. This is impossible to empower. Mm. I I don't understand how this mm. works." Uh, I mean, I don't know everything there is to know about runes, but, like, I could not empower this. And if, say, this rune, the death rune, was right side up, it wouldn't be possible to empower? No, I just don't, I'm not clear what it would do. You know, a bunch of these are blessings that are, you know, fine, common enough, that are not strong enough to bring someone back from the dead. The death rune is usually, like, preserving the dead for rites and, Mm -hmm. you know, so that people can do whatever their rituals are. Uh, It doesn't bring anyone back from the dead and it doesn't kill people. So I don't know what it's doing here. Mm. Like, you could draw this on someone and put all of your power into it and if they're not dead, it's not going to do anything to them. But in combination with the others? I don't know what it would do. It's... it So... It looks like if I had to, he had a big role. If I had to guess, this is like a first year's idea of thinking they invented a resurrection spell. But, you know, everybody tries to find that their first year. It doesn't work. Nobody gets it. And then you just go to your studies like you're supposed to. Great. Well, thank you. I really appreciate the insight. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Um, hey, tell Sal I, I made some progress on the next couple runes. 
So we've, we've just got like those last three and we're almost done. I just like knock on the door frame of the ship on the way out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that. So I think especially when someone says your name, yeah. you're like, what? Mm, what? <laughs> am I being, am I snooping or am I paying attention? Like, what? Well, yeah. So. Can we talk, talk shit about the ship that you're literally on? Oh, yeah. That would, <laughs> that would be a bad choice. I feel like you have this elaborate code. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just talk shit to your face. <laughs> That's true. <Yeah. laughs> it always breaks my students' minds because I'll, I'll hear them like gossiping about someone or like criticizing a teacher. I'm like, hey, I, I never say stuff without saying it to their face. Like, you know, hey, we don't gossip. And they're like, what? why would you say it to their face? Like, well, if you mean it, then you tell them. It just blows their minds that you would. Yeah. What? <laughs> anyway, uh, you uh, find yourselves pulling up to the dock. There's an open slip. There are three other uh, very large like galleons here. Uh, all three of them are rise ships. Um, so. As you're approaching, you can also tell that a long way off, but the galleons are not warships, right? They can defend themselves quite vigorously, but they're big and slow, and they probably yeah. have a, a convoy? escort or a convoy mm -hmm. or something. And so these are probably not crews that have been asked, tasked with finding you. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's a company of specialists, so... I still steer towards the farthest available slip from them. That's fine. Um, and so, for what it's worth, it's not like everyone's going to come out yelling with pitchforks and torches immediately. Right. Um, but, you know, like on a roll of a one, <laughs> something mm -hmm. could happen. Sure, sure. Uh, in the right situation. I'm envisioning that all of these have like a cradle that the ship comes into, so you don't have to run the runes the whole time. Oh. Yeah, yeah, maybe the runes use up some kind of fuel or energy or whatever. Yeah, what, whatever. I like that. Okay. Um, so, yeah, they, they're they all resting in the, like, <laughs> you know, the, the like the drawing you always get of the Noah's Ark uh, it, image mm. of, like, the, the beam. The struts. Mm. Yeah, 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 struts holding it up. Um, so, yeah, the, the, each ship has a, a spot to rest. And actually, the... The three galleons are taking up the three like XXL slots, and there's there's like I think there's like six other slots that are all half that size, yeah, right? Like the size of your ship, yeah. Um, which is most ships that deliver. It, they probably had to build new slots for these like Rise Galleon ships. Sorry, Royal Intrepid Shipping and Exploration Company ships. Um, that uh, take up a lot of room. So, what are we doing? I'm going to suggest that Sal try on that hat. I think that's a good idea. Okay. But before we get started, do we know who we're looking for or what we're looking for? Or are we just going to stumble around until someone tries to hurt oh, the, us? The mayor, D Dawson, told us uh, where we could find a pub, or at least a temple. That seems like a good as place as any to start. We can either start with the cult themselves, or we can see who, if we go to the library, there's a union office there. Mm -hmm. And we know that the Sailstone Union has not been cowed. And they might be able to give us some more information without revealing our presence. Well, I mean, our presence is already pretty obvious. I, I mean, Creek Temple. but like in terms of right. uh, intention. Uh, yes, thank you. Yes. Yeah, seems like a good plan. But I'm up for either uh, whatever you want to do. Well, any opinions? Perhaps the Academy can shed some light on what magic has been at work. And information is always useful. Yes. To the library, then. And perhaps... 
other information could come to light. Hopefully. I'm sorry, or is, is there something here you're trying to imply, Lucky? I may not. Just that I haven't forgotten my conversation. Yeah, I, I would prefer to not, unless we absolutely have to. You you see what it does to me when... Yes, I do. Sorry, I meant the other conversation. Okay, now I'm just confused. <laughs> okay, Lucky pulls a uh, uh, third aside and explains in more detail. What are you talking about? Yeah, sorry. I was talking about how we were going to find somebody to help you get rid of... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Ah, yes, that. To the library. <laughs> Wall walks up the cell. We don't talk much, you and I. <laughs> no, I but I feel that our our bond is one of silence and understanding. <laughs> Sal nods. <laughs> okay, that's that's all I wanted. To. <laughs> Perfect. Love it. Uh, so the uh, Doc Master experience here is a. Fairly just benign standard experience. It's so not run I, by I put on the hat. Yeah. And uh, I think that what I'm going to, what Sal is going to appear as is um, Tank Girl era Laura Petty. Sure. Mm. And nice. uh, uh, kind of, uh, I, I guess, but but like, Workers' clothes, sure, and like a like not a and yeah with and... with with one strap up, the other one off. Yep. Okay. Um. Oh, is Portina coming with you? Um. She's about the size of a like dog, like a uh. What am I trying to think of? Like a boxer, you know, like not, it's not like a Great Dane, but like a big dog. Does she, does Portina seem to want to come? She will follow you off the ship if you don't stop her. Could be dangerous. It is a big place to be lost in. Yeah. I think we're, I think if we don't let her off the ship, there's going to be more problems if she runs off than if we're just going to the academy and talking to some people. I think she can get a taste of it and then be happier back aboard. Can you control her enough to get her to keep close with us at least? Yeah, she, stay within vision. She, she hisses a third. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse you. You'll you'll stay with us, right? She like shrugs, like obviously. Stay where we can see. Cat shrug. Just stay where you can see us, at least. Then, as long as you are on good behavior, I see no reason why you can't come with us. She, she kind of like does the sway walk, mm -hmm. like of course. Look at me, I'm a human. Yeah, no, I mean she's in cat form, but like, uh, mm. yeah, it's it's not unusual to see people with animals here, so. Right. Mm -hmm. um, Please don't change unless I uh, ask you to. And then, and she like look like, mm, and is clearly like processing like, wait, what does that mean? Oh, and mm -hmm. it's all body language, but you you get it like you know like she agrees. It's gonna follow. And now, first of all, just in case we need to retcon anything, as your GM, I don't need Portina to go with you, right? I'm not trying to set something up. I'm just. Providing problems. No, no, no. <laughs> so, um, no, it's good. I, I think we, sh we should develop Portina more. Okay. Um, you can't just leave her on the ship all the time. Exactly. It's, okay. You know, at least it's at least it's not enclosed. We have to worry about someone coming by and breaking a window. Oh, Portina. right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. And so, Danny, Tarina, Harper, Doc. Remain on Kotil, yeah. Remain on board because they're going to complete the rest of the like dry dock repairs. Um, and this is perfect for that because it's a yeah. dry dock and essentially. Yeah, and they'll probably go drinking at some point, but whatever. This is a very secure dock where they're like you get actual like guards walking up and down. These are not uh, gray mist 
robes. They're just, they look like, uh, 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 they're not like city guards that like they have the mark of the, the workers union. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and they're, they're sailstone workers who they don't even have like cudgels or anything, but they are just walking up and down, like letting everyone know that they're looking out for stuff and they're not here to threaten anybody and that they don't carry obvious weapons, but they're just mm. like, Hey, let's all it's like neighborhood watch for the yeah, port. Just be cool. Let's be cool. <laughs> um, so that people can leave their ships in with confidence, you know? So, uh, the, the, the city doesn't have a police force. So, um, we may want to disguise our sail and name. Oh, actually, this is a, a, the fun part. You, when you all step off and you look back and think, oh, the sail. When you look back, you actually see a like kludge together junker. Mm. The perfect ship that would match nice. what Sal looks like right now. Oh, right. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. That's amazing. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, it's got like tattered canvas mm. and like a metal patch bolted on to part of the wood. Nice. And, um, just like how is this holding together? Nice. Uh, that's awesome. And it's a pretty effective illusion, but you didn't notice it until you got mm. off the ship. Mm. Um, so like the people you're leaving behind maybe don't even realize that this has happened. Yet. Right. Um, but as soon as you step off and look That's back, cool. you're like, oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> before we go, can I have the chalk back? Yes. I'm going to leave an orange okay. circle for emergencies. Copy that. Anything else? It's got a couple of extra two points in it. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been waiting for so long for you to put the hat on by the ship. Because <laughs> I know you tried it on at the store, I think. Right. Right. And then I, we've never had an opportunity for you to use it since then. I was like, oh, this is going to be cool. That's awesome. And then you came up with such a good look. Yes. I was like, yes. <laughs> Tank girl, the sail ship. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, okay. So we're heading into town. Yep, I'm gonna have a little bit of commentary explaining what's going on for Portina since uh -huh. this is a brand new yeah and her place. Ears are up, tail up. It's just like super interested. Um, is uh, cougars a little bigger than a bobcat, right? I think so. Yeah, I think that's also a good comparison of her size. It's just like not like a lion or a tiger, but like the next biggest cat. Just big feet, you know, has like a real low rumbly purr uh, that s sounds like a motor. You know? <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm going to tell her that if if anything happens and you need to get away or you get separated from us, then if you change into your human form and you talk to, and I'll point out the dock master, yeah. say, talk, talk to them and they will help you. She nods. So, uh, we head into town. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Spire opens up before you. You don't have any fast travel points unlocked here, so you are going to have to walk. Um, Wall climbs to the top of the tallest building and, jump and down. holds the R button. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You get the pan. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there is one small bale of hay at the bottom okay. uh, <laughs> to be able to get down quickly. Um, but uh, no, you, you walk in the spire and it is, it's a circular city. It kind of has to be um, by the description. <laughs> and um, along the outer wall, uh, you know, like th there was a, a wall for security, but inside of that is just shops. It's like a huge number of, of shops and materials and supplies. And like right here at the docks, there's a bunch of like, um, we'll bring in lumber for you. Like it's, they don't have a ton of lumber right there, but it's like, mm. you know, the lumber yard rep is right. there. Order, order that. Um, Does that go all the way around the spire? Yeah. So there's like all kinds of various shops and things and there's kind of districts. So like here, there's a lot of hardware and construction materials and all that. And then there's, you know, more of like the, the chemistry district and, and all that. And then when you go in a ring, um, there's a, a little more like, uh, urban residential, right? A lot of like, like 
row house, townhouse, apartment, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and outside of the walls, there are lots of like farms and and resident, not like it's not like suburbs, mm -hmm. but you know, here it is. It is built compact, and it looks like it was built with a lot of intention, right? Like there's like no weird wasted corner. It it was. This is our Baldur's Gate. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Um, the uh, except you can open all the doors here. Mm. What? What? And you don't have to gather your party before venturing forth. Right. Right. Um, I just like that all the shops are on Wall Street. Oh yeah, around. yeah, they are. Um, and um, then in the very center of the city, in uh, so I I don't know how big the city should be in total. It's big. Uh, and in the center is a circular building, uh, just a uh, cylinder. I was going to say mm. cone, like it's not a cone, uh, but it's a, a a library. Like you can see from outside, there's there's um, eight doorways, right? Uh, northeast, southwest, northeast, southwest. So, you know, like all eight compass points mm -hmm. have like big double doors on them like 10 foot tall uh and they're they're all standing open all at the same time so you can look in and you can see um uh just books upon books upon books and bookshelves and stairways that go up into you know different levels of the library and um it is also the uh th there's like a university welcome so like there's this is the library this is the university bookstore and the university is up right like so this you know 100 feet 200 feet tall 200 feet is pretty tall right yeah yeah it's real big I'm that's like 20 like stories the spire you hoodies yeah. <laughs> <laughs> store and all the t-shirts and magnets i love that um I'll, 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 let's go yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you gotta, that, you're looking in the gift shop right yeah. now you know um all of their all of their uh marketing material says get inspired mm. yes <laughs> <laughs> and there's like the black link posters <laughs> yep uh there's a, a kitten hanging from the, from the... <laughs> <laughs> old film posters yeah too, classic movies yeah, yeah. Uh, flashbacks to my college days man. yeah but um, it is, uh, yeah, so there's, there's a, a university here built on top of the library. And it looks like they just kept adding on. Like, you can see some generations of stone. Like, it, not like it's, I mean, it is older on the bottom, but it's not, like, falling apart. It's just you could see, like, slight little coloration mm. differences as you go up into this, like, very tall building. Um, probably tallest building any of you have ever seen. That's like unusually tall. Uh, not Empire State Building, but you know, it's are. like twenty stories. Yeah, I mean, what tall. you said. Yeah, if it's like, is it like ten feet to a story, something yeah. like that? Because there's space to run pipes and lighting and all that sort of yeah. stuff. Yeah, uh, let's let's go like three. Let's go like a hundred yards, like three hundred feet. Uh, thirty stories. Okay, mm. that's I'll I'll settle on that. That's a very tall. Mm -hmm. Um, and um, yeah. So you can just see bands of you know things that have been added on, and you can see too this like inner area of the rings. Um, is you put, this has been built up as well. So there's the spire is the tallest, and then there's several layers of you know uh concentric rings and stuff that people live in or various businesses whatever and then there's the outer there's wall street um which uh, has the 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 most sort of freewheeling types of shops right some of them are pretty esoteric or bizarre or whatever um and that's just kind of the arrangement does that make sense everyone mm -hmm. have a good picture in their mind okay um all right so did, oh where did you say you wanted to go first library yeah okay so you head into the library there is uh probably at least 30 people shopping in here right now is it middle of the day or a little afternoon maybe at this point 
Um, it is, uh, I, I think we had said, we started this whole story in like a February type of month, right? Uh, I think back and forth from the Seven Isles, um, it's maybe like a month, month and a half worth yeah, of six weeks of travel, something like that. Sure. Yeah, All sounds right. good. So we'll, we'll give us like start of April type of weather. Um, and we're going to say spring is the start of the year in this world, right? So like when winter ends and spring begins, this is a big deal. And that's the new year. Um, it's also about the time to get your tattoo as a sailor. And this is like somewhere within like when winter ends and spring begins, you get that special moon set that is, um, what did you allow me? Was it seven moons? Six moons? So I wanted like 37 and you all were like, no, that's too many. That's too many. Okay. All right. Three. Next we'll give you three. Three moons. Yeah. Three. We'll start with three ten. and if you're good. <laughs> we'll give you some more. I mean, we'll start with, let's not, let's not be too lax of, you know, give an inch, take a mile. Right. We should actually start with the, the moons you have at home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I will that. turn this campaign around. <laughs> uh, I love you guys so much. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right. So the the arrangement of moons is quite yeah. distinct. Uh, and there's actually, you, you realize there are some points, you know, looking up, you realize like, oh, these are like moon slots, mm. right? Like, mm. oh, at this time of year, the three moons will line up with that. And then at this other time of year, they'll line up with this thing. Like, oh, that's kind of neat. They probably do a lot of ceremonies here and they care about what the moons are doing. Um, but uh, anyway, in the uh, library slash university bookshop, uh, there are th th two sections, right? There's like, here, university students, stay away from the good people. And you know, be filthy <laughs> students over here and buy your books, right? Or rent your books or whatever. Um, I think they just lend them. I like the idea of this uh, university essentially being free because that's the dream. Yes. So I have my fantasy world and university is like, free yeah, here. Yeah. Like, um, like screw your for-profit yeah. textbook BS. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they have like textbooks you can borrow or you can purchase a copy if you want them. Like, that's fine. But it's reasonably priced. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But it's optional. You don't have yeah. to buy any. It's not an $80 fucking English book. Right. The thing they charge for is like the hoodies. Mm -hmm. eh, you don't need a hoodie. They're so cute. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, maybe you do speakers. need a hoodie. <laughs> um, so. Oh, university colors. We'll get there. Um, so anyway, there is... The university bookshop is like covers three of the entrances. Um, so it's like, you know, uh, three eighths of this like lower section. And then the ground floor of the library takes up the rest of this part of the bottom. It's kind of cut like a, a crescent, right? Where you there's like university bookshop and then there's a clean line and then these tall bookshelves of, you know, all these, um, you know, amazing books and ladders on wheels of course um you know and um i'm i'm imagining the spire as being like this giant black obsidian oh i was thing? thinking of a or, light or colored stone yeah. oh okay. uh, like a granite i was thinking like seafoam green being one of their colors so like okay oh, yeah navy and gray you know we all have our visions yeah, yeah. exactly yeah I, I was kind of thinking one of them will be the blue that is the color of shipstone. Oh yeah, sailstone and, is blue, and, mm -hmm. um, and then maybe a seafoam green. Oh, I love you know. Or what? I said or or light gray to match the spire. Oh, light gray. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, light gray is going to end up being an important color. Okay. In a just a minute. With... Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. uh, so. Let's, Shades of blue. Let's keep it distinct for props department and costume and, you know. <laughs> and the fan art. Yeah. Props, thanks, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm always looking out for you. Uh, also, I'm going to need that Pantone color. Yes. <laughs> I got it. I got it. <laughs> or free tone. Um, okay, so the, the Seahawks, then. No, that's not seafoam yeah. green at all. It's, um, so the library. Yes. The plot. What? What? How dare you? 
on this show in this economy? We got 30 minutes left. That's true. To get That's true. Little... And only a couple episodes left. We are coming to the, the conclusion of our campaign, y'all. So uh, just be aware. Um, all right. So what are you looking for here in the library? Smart people. All right. There's a, a librarian's desk. One of the greatest powers in the known it's universe. True. I know many librarians are very powerful people. They yeah. really are. I yeah. agree. Uh, Not joking. <laughs> to, since we can find multiple things in the library, uh, or at least in the spire, there's also the union office. Do we want to split up and, and tackle that? Or That's do we all want to go together? It's going to take the same amount of physical time in the game. Uh, at least, sorry, in, on the stream. Um, so we could really do it either way. Yeah, I just want to know if y'all are splitting up. Walla's business with the cartography department. I guess we're splitting up then. Okay. Cartography. I'm going to ask about face shit. From the librarians. From librarians. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very specifically from the librarians. Okay. Um, then do you want to ask cult stuff? Yeah, do you wanna do you want company or do you wanna ask about patient by yourself? Third absolutely wants company because it's a scary shit. But I know that we do a lot of scenes together, so if you wanted to come with or if you wanted to want to do Sure, something. I'll come with you for face okay. for face. Stuff. I just need someone to hold my hand. Because it's scary. Yeah. The face should be terrifying. Like when I see fairy tales and stuff, I'm like, y'all. This shit's terrifying. I avoid it in LARP. So yeah. I'm like, I don't understand. It's delightfully ridiculous, but I don't understand. So I'm going to be over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I yeah. Uh, read even more when I was researching about uh, like r religious pantheons mm -hmm. and around the world. And the, the Celtic pantheon is one of the scariest things I've read about. Uh, and I love it. But anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, what, what was Lucky doing? I'm going to find the Union office and see if I can figure out um, some information about local resistances, get get the skinny from people who are on the ground. Sure. Mm -hmm. And what was... Uh, I'm Sal? going with... Uh, Sal's going with okay. third. Third to the information desk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, let's start with the information desk, because okay. that's where we are. Um, you two approach uh, Fortina pads alongside, and it's like sniffing books, but not doing anything inappropriate. Uh, and uh, behind the desk is um, a, uh, a man who's probably five foot six, um, sitting behind the desk, has uh, sky blue skin and a little like, like desk tent mm -hmm. in front of him. Uh, and maybe you would recognize uh, his type of people anyway, but you know that they're exclusively telepaths. Mm -hmm. And uh, his sign basically says in several languages, like, may I speak into your mind? Um, because he needs, he mm -hmm. wants permission before. Doing okay. That. Well, if I know who the, if I know what species this guy is, then he will allow it. Yeah. They, they basically don't speak mm -hmm. with their mouth. So, gotcha. um, Sal, are you okay with it as well? Yeah. Okay. Um, so then, yeah, he's, he just speaks with this very like smooth baritone. It's almost like, if if an AI voice actually sounded like warm mm -hmm. and like thoughtful, yeah. uh, um, yes. What can I help you find? Oh, well, good day to you. Uh, I was looking for some information, of course, um, specifically about the Fae. Ah, so stories, stories, legends, but more um, specifically. Uh, with the lore behind giving and receiving gifts. Uh huh. Okay, so for background, I think in this world, there is also the split between people who see the Fae as real and have, like, mm -hmm. experienced it, mm -hmm. like, third, and most people who think it's overblown stories. Like, everybody mm -hmm. here believes in magic, but, mm -hmm. but like, the idea of the Fae stretches even that credulity. Mm -hmm. So um, this librarian doesn't realize you're asking for something that's literally true. Mm -hmm. So uh, do you want to try to convince him of that? Or do you want to just see what he gives you? Um, I, I want him to know, you know, this is a, 
To third, this is something very serious, so I think okay. he's going to try to be honest. Okay. At least as much as he can with a telepath. Okay. Hey, I experienced the, re the reception of a gift from a creature who I'm very sure was a fae. And I can't seem to get rid of it. Okay. So I was wondering if there is any information, something that's a little more fact-based rather than story-based. Do any of your moves uh, help people take you more seriously or listen to you more uh, closely or well, there's, pay attention don't you know to you? who I am, but that's a whole thing. Well, that's that could be uh, part of it. Uh, there's also Silver Tongue. Oh, that's more like if you're prohibited from talking about something. What's the outcome of Silver Tongue? Outcome of Silver Tongue. Um, this is the one we did before. Where basically, like, if you're caught in like a mischievous act or oh, something's you can prohibited, get out of you trouble. can talk yeah, your way out. you can talk. It's a choose between three different ways to talk your way out. But oh, that's not okay. Quite yeah, what doing. I'm, a, I'm, I'm just a handsome lad. Yeah, all that right. Seems nice. Well, um, what about that thing you were you used earlier with? Oh, the, the cosmopolitan. Yeah. So like, um. It, that was kind of like imitating mannerisms of locals. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I think that yeah. would actually be okay. really helpful to be sort of seen as a scholar. Yeah, you know, and not as, I'm not, I'm not trying to make a joke. Right, yeah. I Conveying think, seriousness. I think that really applies. Okay. So, uh, do, do you have to spend anything to nope. apply that? It's just people respond to you. Yeah, I, more I understand. I understand customs of different cities. Okay. I know so, how people act in Spire versus Porphine or versus another Okay. Land. So you, you manage to convey in a way that lets this guy think like, okay, well, you experienced something and it mm -hmm. seems like what you've heard about mm -hmm. the Fae. And okay, so we're looking for scholarly research, yes. not like children's yes. stories. Yes, and, I'm definitely you know, trying to yeah. convey that. And, and you get um, actually a lot of his, he doesn't have much in the way of, real facial or like literal facial mm -hmm. expressions but a lot of his like emotion comes through telepathically and you get this like sense of empathy of like oh this must have been a difficult experience and you know is like gets up from the desk and is leading you down some alleyways of books mm -hmm. and says i i think i know a, a place to start at least wonderful thank you do you want me to help read and research or yes, perhaps might... just provide moral support I th it, well if there are multiple books then yes we oh. would definitely like to oh there will be uh, <laughs> then yes the research we have that is the least bit reliable into um reputable accounts is few and far between and usually spread between multiple different journals and mm. uh memoirs and that type of thing so you uh yes Having a team effort will probably benefit your search. Excellent. If you know of anything, I would also be interested in any books you have about Sailstone and the linking effects of runes and other uh, uh, sh the, the uses of it for shipping. Well, th these are two things that are taught extensively in the university and we have many resources on these uh they're in very different sections of the library but if you'd like i can get one of my colleagues to help you find the what does he say the most applicable resources i would appreciate that very good and you you get the sense like he, he kind of like tips his head down for a second he doesn't put his finger to his temple but uh you know is like to me my x men yes <laughs> is c communicating briefly and then uh picks his eye line up again and says well they'll they'll meet us at the section we're going to and you know so we'll leave that there for a moment uh let's go to wall uh wall is going to try to do two things the first is we at some point, recovered information about where Kraken had been dying and mm -hmm. yes. possible thin places showing up. Yes. Wall wants to see, does that look like preparation? Does that look like troop movement? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Okay. You know where I'm, yeah, going yeah. with that. Yeah. Or, or like outposts. Right. Does that look like they're building a, it? Like, is this some kind of forward front that they're trying to do from um, the other side? So you find the cartography section. There's all kinds of maps there. They don't have anything that's considered hidden or, yeah. or private here. Right. So 
Um, why don't you roll a die? Uh, but actually, let's roll with advantage because you you know what you're looking for. You yeah. feel like you've got clues. Um, this feels like what my brother would do. Mm. 13 and 12. Okay. Um, yeah. What you have is what what looks like you're kind of like reverse engineering mm -hmm. that that final invasion. Mm -hmm. Several of these were building up to that. Right. But they're old. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. ancient. Right. And there doesn't seem to be a new um, impact of okay. that specifically. Okay. But the fact that that thin place is just up the coast a little ways from here. Mm -hmm could seem relevant right um and it's certainly you know as they were they were probably like these first couple they were figuring out how right. to do it right and then they were like okay well we need to do this more strategically and you realize there's this kind of v. they tri triangulate yeah. yeah 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 and they they figure out how to come through right where they want to come through okay and uh it does look like that okay so from what i gather are there any and we can like fast forward this, sure. but basically, got are there, yeah, are there spots where walls like this is probably where the next big strike would happen? Like, um, this is the most likely entry point that's important to them. What it looks like is that they may have given up on this tactic. Got it. Uh, and are trying something else. Good. Uh, okay. Because there was a all of those thin places happen in a relatively short amount of time, like within a hundred years. And then it's been a thousand years since. Wall sighs a uh, breath of relief and just silently says the wall stood. Yeah. Um, the next thing he wants to do is compare where his, he remembers the former kingdom was mm -hmm. and he wants to trace back what are the earliest map? Like, what happened to the continent? Oh yeah, no, you you find some historical maps. You actually find. I think there's a. Well, I don't want to put on you what that experience yeah. is, mm -hmm. but one of them, you, you know, it's this thing where you like pull one down right. and then you can, overlays. Like, it, yeah, you can put it back up and yeah. like you think about the thing that you want to be on it, and okay. you, but you pull it down as you you've got like a reference card. You're like, yeah, yeah. that one, Punk, and you yeah. you know get a new map. Um, and you pull one down and sort of not even meaning to have gotten this detail is your home city. And it's in this incredible, it's almost like a painting. Yeah. Right. So it's not like perfectly to scale and everything, but it has all this detail and like, like some of the city colors and then the, some of the farms out there, including, I think you said your family mm -hmm. were farmers. Mm -hmm. So you have a sense of like, oh, on the south side of the city there. That had to be our plot. Yeah. Um, what, what's Wall's reaction to this? Anger. In, initially anger. Uh -huh. um, because Wall is flipping between that and the current map, which just shows nothing. Right. Yeah. It's it's now been, you know, in in the last 50 years, it's, you know, they've done an update of the coast map. That's always the most right. up yeah, to yeah, date. Yeah. And, but some researchers were yeah. studying, a, you know, like a rare frog or something. And so some of that swamp has mm -hmm. been mapped and there's a contour map of it. And it's all pretty up to date, but it's also depressing that yeah, um, they didn't even mention ruins. Exactly. Uh, so Wall's looking for, were there any mention of what, because we keep calling it the Forgotten Empire or the Old yeah. Empire. Are there any names? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and we'll find them out next week. All right, <laughs> stay tuned. Okay. Well, I thought you had a name. Wall's not going to say it. Okay. All right. But he sees the name. And, yeah, we, um, we see it, and it's a little blurred because it's out of focus on the side. That's the last I think he can take. This is very sure. traumatizing. Is there maybe like a, a yeah. like a tear up? That's why we can't see it. There are it. many tears. Yeah. 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 Okay. We'll get it. That's, a, that's a good stinger for the end of the episode right there, but we'll... We still have some more to do. So we'll just yep. we'll re edit well. that. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the, yeah. We'll fix it in post. Um Lucky. Where are you headed? Union office. Yeah, yeah, union office. Okay. So they're um they have like a nice brightly lit recruitment office up in the square, like uh, near the library. Their actual like main work office is under the library because they're they're miners primarily, right? So they're that's where they have their main do they office. have any adult supervision? Huh. Thank you. 
Uh, I want to roll to resist that. <laughs> <laughs> so where do you do you want to go to the like actual head office or recruitment center? Head office. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you just head downstairs from the library, and um, I don't know if you were expecting like Averns or like y- you know like rough hewn whatever, but it's more like an underground you know uh, dwarven kingdom kind of you know like. It's just beautifully laid out, cut stone, and um, you know the kind of seams that that uh, stonemasons dream of. That, <laughs> you know, um, and it's also it's all well lit. There's like fresh air being pushed through from somewhere. That's um, actually more what I would expect because, like, obviously yeah. the union is going to push for as much like healthy conditions. Yep, and pride in their work. Yeah, all the lighting is are like magic globes rather than torches or anything, so there's no smoke or you know gathering. Um, <clears throat> and the main office has this like you come down a, a big staircase that's just much wider than it needs to be, but it looks grand, right? <laughs> you come down into this essentially circular room that's matching the whole style of the spire and everything, and there's like a half circle of a desk. And um, there's a human woman sitting behind it, uh, uh, just looking over a number of like charts and stuff. And, um, and behind her, it looks like there's this wedge. Oh, it's sort of like, um, you know, like the Rockefeller building. You know, it's like the... The, the, the Flatiron building? Yeah, yeah, the Flatiron mm. in New York City. That's like a triangular. It's what they okay. use for the Daily Bugle in the Spider-Man movies. Great, yes. Or Thirty Rock. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> it it looks like that underground, not quite as tall. It's like, you, like you've come all the way downstairs, and there's like, like a three-story building down here, right? So you've come down three stories, <laughs> and you're at the bottom of that, and up behind you is like this three three-story, essentially office building carved out of solid rock. Um, and this receptionist here. So, uh, she looks up and, so, uh, yeah, can I, uh, who are you looking for? I need someone who could talk to me about, um, current cross-group relations. Oh, yes, uh, I'll, I'll get our liaison. Um, and, uh, she, you, you know, like, just a like magical dial thing on her desk and hits the button in the middle of it and says uh, yes we, we have uh, somebody here to see and and she pronounces a name that's hard to hear on the uh, <laughs> microphone um but um the short of it is that she sends you on your way and you're you know you've got instructions of like okay i'm gonna go down here but there's nobody like you see people wandering around there's a, a mix of folks here that's not not all humans uh but it's um, like nobody's stopping you or it's just been like, hey, you, what are you doing down here? And maybe that's just this part of it is fine. But um, yeah, I think that'll be a good thing to pick up with next time. I didn't realize how much time I'd eaten up um, <laughs> describing dumb stuff. But uh, you will will open with your, your meeting with the liaison. Um, Anything else we should cover before we wrap tonight? Just as a mm-hmm. gag, I, I see Wall having a, an 80s movie angry dance scene <laughs> through the halls of the library. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That yeah. scene from Footloose yeah, in the just, barn. Yeah. 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 yeah, tearing random like things yeah. off the wall. And, yeah. Yeah. and then spinning. Yeah. That's what you're Spin like you've never spun before. Yeah. Watching, watching, watching. <laughs> I love that. Um, so you're gonna think about the information that you're gonna give us for next week. Yes, exactly. Up there. I also just love the idea. I like. I'm picturing Lucky Joshi in my mind with a scrap of paper, like walking along this, you know, giant stone office building. I'm like, what a weird Lucky place totally to be. Totally like. In. Like keeping to walls. Yeah, like right, staying right next to the wall of like not walking out in the mm-hmm. like the the open space is enough for two carts to pass, like ox carts to pass side by side. They dug too greedily, <laughs> <laughs> but not too deep, mm. so it's okay. Mm. Um, 
but yeah, that's the kind of environment that it's it's in. Um, okay, well, I think we'll leave it there then. Um, everyone, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I'll do my thing last. Uh, Joe, where can the folks find you these days? Hi, everybody. Uh, you can find me somewhere in Pasadena most of the week. <laughs> uh, you can also check online. Uh, I believe our info is at uh, J-O-E-K-O-U dot card. C-A-R-R-D dot C-O. And uh, is it? Is it yeah. down there? Why am I yeah, saying? Yeah. Well, just do the thing below me. Unless you're li- actually, if you're listening... Through podcast. Yes. That's right. why we say, I'm sorry. It's J O E K O U dot C A R R D dot C O. And you'll find links to all my social two stuff R's? there. It's too small to I'll add the links to the show notes too. Awesome. Okay. When, I, when I export it. Um, cool. Hi, I'm Courtney. Uh, I don't know where you can find me these days. Sometimes I put up YouTube videos, which is also linked to my card. Just yeah, <laughs> Courtney Croft. How do pirates card. keep in touch with each other? Uh, so I don't have anything cool to promote. I guess come to Twin Mask, where I will be joining the story staff and creating oh, uh, cool. experiences for people starting in December. So awesome. Oh, sweet. That's awesome. Uh-huh. Can the story team? Yes, they finally got me after years of trying. Awesome. <laughs> so, Woo-hoo. you know, my specialties are uh, death games and making people look very silly. So okay. I look forward to I both of those things. things. This is yes. the perfect combination. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Just death with sparkles. Mm. A little bit, <laughs> like... yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I literally... Uh, I, need to, I don't know what the record is for, like, most player kills in one night, but I run a death game that's basically uh, Life and Death Stakes Werewolf. And I think my highest score is like 13 kills in one night. Nice. Yeah. I, I, there might be one other guy who has more missed than me, uh, but we'll have to see. Well, that's the kind of GM Courtney is. It's, it's mm. cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I, people get into that game knowing that it's Yes, totally, yes. Right? It's totally, yeah, it's totally yeah, opt-in. Fine. They know what they're getting into, and they've all had a great time. And yeah. It's killed a lot of people and made other people very wealthy. Yeah, mm. that would be fun. That's a shimmy. Well, come join Twin Mask. That's awesome. All right. Um, hi, I am Pooja, and my card is ForgottenSaves.card.co, and uh, you can find me playing TTRPGs on the 12-Sided Stories podcast. The Unquiet Blood Hellfire is off to a raging, snarky, backstabby kind of start, which is just delicious. Yeah, I just heard the episode zero today. (laughs) It's so... (laughs) Like, I, when I say the word obnoxious, I don't mean in a bad way. It's, like, exactly what I wanted from that crew. Uh, and then I've got a very special thing coming up that will come out in January, and Ooh. you can check my socials for information on that. I'm now on so many more socials just yeah. in this last week, and I resent it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. my, my hope is that he will break the toy and drop it. And then somebody will get to take it over and fix it again. He who should not be named. I, mean, I think it's already been dropped and broken. But, I mean, yes. the, the toy the toy has been has been broken. It is now just well, the pieces, pieces are the cutting how, people. How <laughs> long will it take him to leave it, or will he not leave it? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. So some of the uh, I'm getting a lot of enjoyment out of the broken toy, to be honest. Yes. <laughs> yes. So there's been a lot of nice things. Yes, that have come from that. Uh, hey everyone, I am Nick. I played Sal tonight, and uh, you can find me uh, on Sun Growler. Uh, is it at card? No, no it's dot, dot card. Okay, Sun Growler dot card. C A R R D dot C O. I have two socials listed there. One always lies. One always tells the truth. <laughs> so you'll have to figure that out. I know the question to ask because <laughs> I watched Labyrinth. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> Have you watched it since then? Well, no, but like I've seen the movie. I'm just like down, Jason. It's fine. Because I watched a movie, an old movie, a long time ago. Iconic (laughs) movie. Hi. Uh, So I'm Jason. Still, Um, you can no, you're Jason Mills. My information at I believe I win the award for longest card. Um, Probably okgames.card.co. Uh, where right now, that's my Twitch and my Twitter. I stream on my channel on Wednesdays and Fridays. Lots of fun stuff there. Hope you'll come and join me sometime. 
And um, I think that's everything for me. So thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next time. Oh, you don't oh. want to pitch, oh. pitch where they can find more of our stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Happy Jacks RPG. I just wanted to talk about me. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, you can find all of our previous episodes at happyjacks.org slash castoffs or slash shows for anything and everything that's been done at uh, Happy Jacks. And um, <clears throat> this is, we are nearing our uh, ultimate. Yeah, yeah, I believe next week will be our penultimate episode with a likely conclusion after that. So we're, we're closing in. That's going to be very exciting. Um, I didn't know where this was going to go, and I'm real excited how it's getting there. So um, thank you, everyone, for joining us so far. Hope you're having fun. If you are, uh, you can also let us know on the Discord. Go to happyjacks.org slash Discord and uh, get involved that way, too. It's fun. And if you do go on the Discord, it is totally okay to at me because I have all my notifications turned off unless you at me, which is fine. I would like to join in the conversation if it's about me. <laughs> well, without the ego, I, I also agree. Feel free to at me, but I won't probably see it any other way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's just, I yeah. just have yeah. all of my Discord notifs turned Same. off. Same, cause... you have to. Yeah, yeah no, no there's no other way. There. Only like the important stuff I leave off. Yeah. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Looking forward to next time. Uh, until then, stay yourself. Stay, yeah. Thirsty dirty. Thirsty dirty. There it is. There's the callback. Uh, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.